a lot. To allot something means to give it to someone. The coach allotted each team five minutes to prepare a strategy. Appall. To appall means to horrify, shock, or disgust someone. The boy was appalled when he saw the accident. Cache. A cache is a hiding place for valuable things. The pirates kept their jewelry in a cache hidden in a cave. Convenience. Convenience is a state of being able to do something with little effort. The internet allows consumers to shop at their own convenience. Dearth. A dearth is an amount or supply which is not large enough. There is a dearth of money in my bank account. I can't afford a new car. Deliberate. If a thing you do is deliberate, you intend to do it. She made a deliberate effort to save money each month. Dire. When something is dire, it is terrible and very serious. The tornado created a dire situation for the small town. Elapse. To elapse means to pass, as in seconds, minutes, or hours. A few seconds must elapse before you can take another picture. Empathy. Empathy is sharing or understanding another person's feelings. The caring nurse had empathy for her patients. Fanciful. When something is fanciful, it is unusual or unrealistic. The girl had fanciful ideas about doing well in school without studying. Gripe. To gripe means to complain constantly. Lawrence always gripes when he has to do chores. Grueling. When something is grueling, it is very hard to do. The climber faced the grueling task of reaching the top of the steep mountain. Mundane. When something is mundane, it is boring, common, or ordinary. The man had the mundane chore of raking thousands of leaves into piles. Opt. To opt is to make a choice, especially when deciding in favor of something. My brother likes chocolate ice cream, but I always opt for vanilla. Outrage. Outrage is a very strong emotion of anger or shock. Tommy was feeling outrage when his parents said he couldn't go to the dance. Paltry. When an amount of something is paltry, it is very small. The poor man had a paltry sum of money. Rectify. To rectify something means to correct it. I quickly rectified the spelling mistakes that I had on my essay. Resourceful. When someone is resourceful, they are good at dealing with hard situations. After his boat sunk, Matt was resourceful enough to build a raft. Sustenance. Sustenance is food and water needed to keep a person, animal, or plant alive. Without the proper sustenance, the man will starve. Tedious. When something is tedious, it is long, frustrating, and boring. His job involved a lot of tedious typing, filing, and organizing. The Little Mice. Beth was a very resourceful and conservative mouse. She knew that winter was coming and that there would soon be a dearth of food, so she decided to make gathering food for winter her primary job. Gathering food was a grueling and mundane activity, but Beth made a deliberate effort because she knew that it was important. She allotted herself a few hours every day to collect beans. By winter, she had collected a massive pile and hid them in a cache. Beth had a sister named Mary. Mary lacked ambition. She had fanciful ideas about how she would survive winter. She thought that food would just come to her and that she could work at her own convenience. She opted to spend the days playing and dancing instead of gathering beans. When the final hours of autumn elapsed, Mary had only a paltry amount of food stored away. Mary realized that her food supply was too small to last through winter. She visited her sister. 
Mary said, Beth, I am in a dire situation. I didn't gather enough food for winter. Will you let me share your beans? Please have some empathy for your sister. Beth thought for a moment. Then she replied, Mary, I am truly sorry for you, but I will not give you any of my beans. Instead, I will let you have my empty bag. You can still work hard and gather enough food for the winter. It will be tedious, but you will learn the value of hard work. Beth's words appalled Mary. Mary cried with outrage. There is too much work. I won't have any time to dance or play. Beth said, It is crucial that you gather enough food. You must have sustenance before you have fun. Go now and rectify your situation. Mary griped some more, but she knew that her sister was right. She took the bag and went to work gathering her own beans for the winter. Abbey An abbey is a house or a group of houses where monks or nuns live. When the monk returned to the abbey, he went immediately to his bedroom. Abundant If something is abundant, then it is available in large quantities. Cakes, cookies, and candy were so abundant that the child was very happy. Adjoin To adjoin something means to be next to or attached to something else. She can listen to her brother's conversations because her room adjoins his. Ample If something is ample, then it is enough or more than enough. There was an ample supply of oats to feed the horses. Arid If a place is arid, then it is hot and dry and gets very little or no rain. Not many plants grow in the arid desert. Cathedral A cathedral is an important and often large and beautifully built church. The large cathedral is full of people on Sunday mornings. Deprive To deprive someone of something means to not let them have it. Because the child was bad, she was deprived of her dessert after dinner. Drought A drought is a long period of time in which little or no rain falls. After three months of drought, the vegetation and trees started dying. Eligible If someone is eligible, then they are permitted to do or have something. Only people who bought tickets were eligible to win a prize. Fast To fast means to go without food or drink for a period of time. In her religion, they fast for five days and then have a big feast. Grumble To grumble means to complain. He grumbled about having to work late on Friday. Inland If someone goes inland, they travel into the center of a country or land. The river curved inland near the campground. Moisture Moisture is small drops of water in the air or on a surface. If you breathe on a window, moisture from your breath collects on the glass. Nonetheless If something happens nonetheless, then it occurs despite some other thing. She tried to keep the dog out of the mud, but it got dirty nonetheless. Oath An oath is a formal, often public promise. Judges must take an oath to be fair to everyone in court. Prairie A prairie is a large, flat area of grassland. The prairie was perfect for a farm because there were hills and trees. Ragged If something is ragged, then it is old, torn, and falling apart. They could see his toes through the holes in his ragged shoes. Rugged If an area of land is rugged, then it is rocky and difficult to travel through. Their car couldn't make it far along the rugged roads. Scarce If something is scarce, then it is in a very small amount. When gasoline was scarce, we rode our bikes instead of driving to school. Speculate To speculate means to guess about something. My sister looked at the sky and speculated that it would rain tomorrow. 
The Helpful Abbey. It had not rained on the prairie for several months. Because of the drought, the climate had become very arid. There was no moisture left in the soil. No crops could grow in the dry ground. By winter time, the people had nothing to eat. The hungry families heard about an abbey near the mountains where food and water was still abundant. So they traveled inland across the prairie to the abbey. At first, only a few families arrived. Seeking food and shelter, then there was ample food. The monks fed them and let them sleep in the small cathedral. Soon, however, more families were arriving every day. These people had to travel farther, so they were in worse condition. The rugged journey had made their clothes ragged. They were cold and tired. The tiny cathedral was soon full. Food became scarce. The monks began to grumble. They began to speculate that there would be no food. If more families come, we won't make it through the winter," said a young monk. "We must ask some of them to leave." The abbot heard this. "We cannot do that," he said. "It would be wrong to deprive them of food and shelter. We took an oath to help those that need help. All here are in need, so all are eligible to receive our food and shelter. But we won't have enough," the monk said. That might be true, but we must help them nonetheless. We will fast," the abbot replied. "Also, we will give our rooms in the abbey to those sleeping outside, and we will sleep in the churchyard that adjoins the cathedral." The monks were reluctant at first, but they did what the oldest monk said. By the end of the winter, there was still enough food and shelter for everyone. They learned that sometimes helping others means you must give more help than you first expected. Analytic. If something is analytic, it is related to logic and reasoning. The analytic article criticized the new plan and presented one of its own. Assert. To assert a fact or belief means to state it with confidence. He asserted that his mother's cooking was better than his best friend's. Bachelor. A bachelor is an unmarried man. Since he was a bachelor, Jason did his shopping by himself. Calculus. Calculus is an advanced type of mathematics. By using calculus, scientists determine small changes in the star's brightness. Celestial. If something is celestial, it is related to the sky or to outer space. Comets are celestial objects that are rarely seen. Cognitive. If something is cognitive, it is related to learning and knowing things. After her physical examination, her cognitive strengths were tested. Collision. A collision is the act of two things hitting into each other. The collision between the two cars created a loud noise. Competent. If someone is competent, they are able to think or act successfully. Competent employees are much better than unknowledgeable ones. Diploma. A diploma is a certificate proving that someone has completed their studies. After four years of college, Mary finally had a diploma. Excel. To excel at a subject or activity means to be very good at it. Jenny excels at playing the piano. Geology. Geology is the study of the Earth's natural structures and how they change. Because he studied geology, he knew how the mountains were formed. Harness. To harness something means to control and use it, usually to make energy. The sails harness the wind in order to move. Intellect. An intellect is a person's ability to understand things easily. She was known for her quick and strong intellect as well as her beauty. Keen. If someone is keen, they are intelligent. Only the keenest of students could have solved that math problem. Mythology. Mythology is a group of stories from a particular country or region. Egyptian mythology was the basis for a religion. Physiology. 
Physiology is the study of the various parts of living things. His work in physiology helped him understand how the human body works. Radioactive. If something is radioactive, then it lets out or is related to radiation. Radioactive materials can be very bad for anyone's health. Relativity. Relativity is a set of ideas about time and space developed by Albert Einstein. Relativity teaches that light travels at the same speed in the universe. Sociology. Sociology is the study of human society, its organizations, and problems. Sociology teaches that people's problems are a result of their society. Theoretical. If something is theoretical, it is based on theory rather than experience. His conclusion was only theoretical and not meant to be publicized. The Bachelor's Lesson. A keen young bachelor had finished his studies at the university. As soon as he had received his diploma, he asserted to everyone he met that he was the smartest person in town. I excel at everything I study, he said, bragging about his knowledge. I've mastered calculus and physiology. I even understand the great theoretical teachings of science, such as relativity. There is nothing that I don't know, whether it's the movements of celestial objects like plants and stars. Or how to harness the power of radioactive substances? I know everything, but actually there was something the bachelor did not know. Though his analytic abilities were great, he failed to notice he was missing something very important in his life. One day, while walking through town, the bachelor witnessed a collision between two cars. Both drivers appeared to be injured, but the scholar only stood and watched. He thought to himself, "Those idiots should have been more alert." They really must not be very competent. He never thought the drivers needed help. Please help me," said the female driver in a weak voice. "Help me too," said the male driver. "I'm hurt and can't move." Suddenly, the bachelor realized he was the only person near the accident. He quit thinking and ran to help the drivers. He carefully helped them out of their vehicles and then called an ambulance. The drivers were saved, and the bachelor felt the best he had in his entire life. Studying mythology, sociology, and geology didn't give him this wonderful feeling. It was the act of helping others, not his cognitive skills, that gave him this great feeling. He had learned an important lesson. He learned that intellect isn't everything. Being helpful is just as important. Having only a brain is not enough. He thought, "You must also have a heart." Administrator. An administrator is a person who controls a business, company, or organization. Everyone in the store did whatever the administrator asked them to do. Affluent. If someone is affluent, they are wealthy. People in the city are usually more affluent than people in the country. Audit. To audit means to inspect financial records from a person or business. The government usually audits companies that report lower than usual incomes. Automate. To automate a company means to install machines or computers to do the work. When the bank automated, it started installing ATM machines. Bribe. To bribe someone means to illegally persuade them for a favor with money. The judge was bribed so that she would set the suspect free. Corrupt. If someone is corrupt, they break the law for money or fame. The corrupt policeman didn't arrest the man because he gave them money. Dispose. To dispose of something means to get rid of it. He disposed of the can by throwing it into the recycle bin. Headquarters. A headquarters is a building where the bosses of a company work. He drove the long route to headquarters because it was a nice day. Incentive. An incentive is what makes a person want to do something. The chance of winning a prize was incentive to get people to play the game. Infrastructure. An infrastructure is a collection of services needed to run a society or business. Power lines are important parts of a city's infrastructure. Legislate. 
To legislate means to make laws. Senators have to legislate fairly, so most people will enjoy the benefits. Legitimate. If something is legitimate, then it is acceptable according to the law. She found a legitimate plan to raise extra funds for her vacation. Manipulate. To manipulate something means to skillfully or unfairly control or affect it. The doctor manipulated the data to make it look like the cure was working. Merchandise. Merchandise is goods ready to be purchased or sold. The store added more merchandise because there were more shoppers. Retail. Retail is the activity of selling goods to the public, often for personal use. Though cheap to make, once a T-shirt reaches retail, it costs ten times as much. Revenue. Revenue is the income made by a company. The new products really increase the business's monthly revenue. Rubbish. Rubbish is trash or waste. The floor around the garbage can was covered with all kinds of rubbish. Subsidy. A subsidy is money given by the government to companies to assist them. The official gave the company a subsidy so it could open two new factories. Transaction. A transaction is an act of buying or selling something. Because the clerk was new at the job, the simple transaction took a long time. Violate. To violate a law, rule, or agreement means to break it. I was given a ticket because the policeman said I violated the speed limit. The corrupt administrator. Mr. Pig was an administrator at a big factory that made different kinds of merchandise. During a meeting at the company's headquarters, his bosses said they wanted the factory to make more money. If the factory makes more money, then you will too, his boss, Mr. Horse, told him. It was a great incentive. Pig had always wanted to be as affluent as his bosses. Mr. Pig returned to the factory and started making changes. However, most were not very nice, and some were not legitimate. First, he fired all his employees. Then he automated the entire factory. Machines now made everything, and the other animals, Mr. Rabbit, Mr. Sheep, and Mr. Dog, had no jobs. Next, he bribed some corrupt senators into legislating special subsidies for the factory. Finally, instead of paying a company to dispose of the factory's rubbish properly, he violated the law by throwing it into the river to save money. At first. All the changes to the factory's infrastructure created more revenue, but soon many stores could no longer sell the factory's goods at retail. It seemed that the machines couldn't make products as well as the workers. The customers were disappointed with the factory's merchandise. There were other problems too. The animals had told their friends and family to stop buying the factory's goods. Officials discovered the factory's rubbish in the river. And when they audited the company, they discovered that Pig had manipulated the law in order to get more money. All transactions with Pig's factory stopped. The factory lost money, and Pig lost his job. He realized his mistakes too late. He had tried to become rich by saving money any way possible, but the cheapest way was not always the best. Assess. To assess something means to judge the structure, purpose, or quality of it. She assessed the condition of the toy car before buying it. Astonish. To astonish someone means to greatly surprise them. The amount of people that came to her party astonished her. Commence. To commence something means to begin it. His speech commenced with a thank you to all who had helped him succeed. Essence. The essence of something is its important qualities or basic characteristics. The essence of the argument was that both sides felt they had lost money. Extract. To extract something means to remove it. The dentist extracted the woman's damaged tooth and put in a fake one. Fabulous. 
If something is fabulous, it is extremely good. This strawberry is the best I've ever had. It's fabulous. Haste. Haste is speed in movement or action. In order to get to the meeting in time, he proceeds with haste. Impulse. An impulse is a sudden, thoughtless urge to do something. Because of the scary noise, she had an impulse to run somewhere and hide. Ladder. Ladder describes something last in a series or the second choice of two things. In the latter minutes of the game, the visitors scored the winning goal. Molecule. A molecule is the smallest basic unit that makes up a physical substance. A tiny drop of water is made up of thousands of molecules of water. Ongoing. If something is ongoing, then it is still happening or still growing. The development of plants is ongoing because it takes time for them to mature. Pharmaceutical. If something is pharmaceutical, then it is related to the development of drugs. Pharmaceutical companies discover new cures to illnesses all the time. Precise. If someone is precise, then they are exact and careful about their work. The builder was very precise about where he placed the nails. Proximity. Proximity is closeness in time, space, or relationships. All the trees in the proximity of the beach had been cut down. Publicity. Publicity is public attention given to someone or something by the media. She received a lot of publicity after her performance in the film. Remedy. A remedy is a cure for a disease, argument, or problem. A good remedy for a headache is an aspirin and a glass of water. Significance. The significance of something is the quality that makes it important. The significance of the snowy weather was that we didn't have to go to school. Subsequent. If something is subsequent, then it comes after something else in time. The flood and the subsequent rescue of those caught in the flood were on TV. Synthetic. If something is synthetic, then it is made to be like something natural. Clothing made out of synthetic fabrics is very effective at keeping people warm. Terminal. If something is terminal, then it causes or results in death. Since his condition was not terminal, he felt a great sense of relief. A famous accident. One of the greatest pharmaceutical discoveries happened by accident. In his haste to go on vacation, Alexander Fleming had left his laboratory in a mess. The essence of his ongoing work involved a type of bacteria. An infection caused by the bacteria was often terminal, and he was looking for a remedy. He had left the bacteria out while he was away. When he returned from vacation, he found that his lab was covered in fungus. He started cleaning up the mess. While he was cleaning, he had an impulse to examine the fungus. He saw that whenever the fungus was in close proximity to the bacteria, the bacteria died. Though he was a messy scientist, his experiments were precise. He thought that there might be some significance to the fungus. He immediately commenced an experiment to assess what had happened to the bacteria. It had either died by accident or the fungus had killed it. The subsequent tests proved it was the latter reason. What he found astonished him. The fungus actually killed the bad bacteria. All this time, he had been looking for a synthetic material to kill the bacteria. Instead, a common fungus did the job. He knew that something in the fungus had killed the bacteria. His next step was to find those molecules that had done it. When he found them, he extracted them and put them into a pill. The drug proved to be very effective. It also worked against other types of harmful bacteria. The discovery received a lot of publicity. Soon after, the new drug was being used all over the world. Because of the success, the scientist was able to develop even more fabulous drugs to help people. His accidental discovery changed the world and helped save many people's lives. Altitude The altitude of a place is its height above sea level. 
The air was thin at such a high altitude on the mountain. Coastline. A coastline is the outline of a country's coast. He noticed that most of the cities in Australia are on the coastline. Deter. To deter means to prevent or discourage someone from doing something. Icy roads deter people from driving their cars. Devise. To devise something means to have an idea or plan about it in the mind. The thieves devised a plan to steal the diamonds. Expertise. Expertise is the knowledge and skills to do something well. John has a lot of advertising expertise. He can sell anything. Fracture. A fracture is a crack or break in something. Don't stand on that leg because there is a fracture. It might get worse. Impair. To impair something means to damage it or make it worse. Drinking coffee impairs my ability to go to sleep. Implement. To implement something means to ensure that what has been planned is done. The school decided to implement a new teaching strategy. Indigenous. If something is indigenous, it is originally from or native to a place. Tomatoes are indigenous to the Americas. Insight. Insight is a deep and accurate understanding of something. The physics textbook gave the student new insight about gravity. Limb. A limb is a large branch on a tree. The monkey sat on the tree limb and enjoyed a piece of fruit. Migraine. A migraine is a painful headache that makes one feel sick. My sister gets a migraine every time she has a lot of stress. Optimism. Optimism is the feeling of being hopeful about the future or success of something. The mother had optimism about her children's futures. Peculiar. When something is peculiar, it is strange, sometimes in a bad way. That peculiar smell coming from the kitchen reminds me of rotten eggs. Proficient. When a person is proficient at something, they can do it well. Secretaries are proficient at typing quickly. Quest. A quest is a long and difficult search for something. The treasure hunter went on a quest to find an ancient gold necklace. Ridge. A ridge is a long, narrow piece of raised land. The brown bear walked along the edge of the mountain ridge. Spouse. A spouse is the person to whom someone is married. I live in a home with my spouse and our two children. Thrust. To thrust means to push or move something quickly with a lot of force. The boxer thrust his fist into the punching bag. The island. Where am I? Bob thought to himself when he woke up on a peculiar beach. I can't remember what happened. There had been a bad storm, and Bob's fishing boat sunk. He washed ashore on a small island. But he had gotten hurt during the storm. He had a terrible migraine, and he had a fracture in his shoulder. He felt awful, but he had a strong desire to make it home to his spouse and children. He had to tolerate all the pain and devise a plan. Bob stood up and looked around. I'll walk to a higher altitude so I can see everything around me, thought Bob. Maybe I'll gain some insight about this island and find something to help me escape. As he walked along a mountain ridge, he noticed that the tall indigenous trees looked sturdy and thick. Bob got a brilliant idea. He could build a raft. He cut down some leaves and tree limbs. Even though his shoulder injury impaired his ability to carry the materials, he slowly dragged them down the mountain until he reached the coastline. Bob was a proficient builder. He used his building expertise to line up the limbs and tie them together with long vines. When the raft was finished, Bob was happy with his work. This will bring me home to my family, he said with a smile. 
At last, Bob was ready to implement his escape plan. With all his might, he thrust the raft into the water. He climbed on and began the quest to find his way home. Bob smiled again and thought, I'm glad I kept a good attitude. It prevented the pain from deterring me from my plan. Optimism and ambition make anything possible. Slowly, he floated out to sea. In a few days, he made it to shore and ran home to see his happy family. Aquatic If a plant or animal is aquatic, it lives or grows in water. The dolphin is an aquatic mammal. Biosphere The biosphere is the Earth's surface and atmosphere where there are living things. Birds, trees, and worms all thrive in the biosphere. Bizarre When something is bizarre, it is very strange. My bizarre dreams make no sense to me when I'm awake. Celsius Celsius is a scale for measuring temperature. Water freezes at zero degrees Celsius. Coarse If something is coarse, that means it has a rough texture. The coarse sweater made my skin itch. Companion A companion is a person that someone spends a lot of time with. I always walk to school with my companion Frank. Digest To digest means to swallow food and pass it through the body. Allow some time for food to be digested before going swimming. Duration The duration of an event is the time during which it happens. The girls watch television for the duration of the evening. Ecology Ecology is the study of the environment and living things. We study ecology to learn how to help improve the earth. Feat A feat is an impressive or difficult achievement or action. The elephant standing up on one leg was a feat. Infinite If something is infinite, it has no limit or end. Many scientists believe that the universe is infinite. Nucleus The nucleus is the central part of an atom or cell. The nucleus is made up of many tiny particles. Parasite A parasite is a tiny animal or plant that attaches to another animal to get food. The sick dog was covered in parasites. Prominent When something is prominent, it is important and well-known. Queen Victoria was a prominent person in history. Repetitive When something is repetitive, it is repeated many times and becomes boring. Working on an assembly line making cars every day is a repetitive job. Reproductive If something is reproductive, it has to do with a living thing producing young. The reproductive system of a plant is simple. Temperate When a place is temperate, it never gets too hot or cold. In Peru, the weather is temperate and rarely gets too hot or cold. Tolerance Tolerance is the ability to accept something painful or unpleasant. Boxers have a high tolerance for pain. Undergo To undergo an action means to have it happen to you. The cancer patient undergoes treatments twice a week. Vulnerable When someone is vulnerable, they are weak and without protection. He felt very vulnerable when he was stranded in the desert. Small world Even though people can't see me, I'm an important part of Earth's biosphere. Scientists who study ecology know that I was the first life form on Earth. There is more of my kind than any other plant or animal in the world. Without me, other plants and animals would not even exist. I am a protist, and my tiny body is made up of one single cell. In my small world, things can be absolutely bizarre. Unlike most aquatic plants and animals, I don't need a temperate climate. I have a very high tolerance for extreme conditions. Right now, 
I'm swimming around in a bucket of boiling water. The temperature is 150 degrees Celsius, but I feel comfortable. I have coarse hairs called cilia that help me swim around in here. I move my cilia in a repetitive motion for the duration of my swim. I cannot go very fast, though. It takes me about five minutes to swim a distance of just one millimeter. When I get hungry, I look for tiny, vulnerable parasites. I swim up to one and swallow it whole. I digest things much like people do. I have an organ that works just like a human stomach. After I eat, I release nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is a prominent gas in the Earth's atmosphere. Other plants and animals need my nitrogen to survive. My reproductive ability is my most unique trait. I don't need a companion to mate with. Instead, I undergo a process called fission, where my own nucleus splits in half. An exact copy of my nucleus is made, which forms into another protist. It really is an impressive feat. I can create an infinite number of new protists all by myself. Adept. If someone is adept at something, they are very good at doing it. The carpenter is very adept at building houses. Barren. If land is barren, it has no plants growing on it. People cannot farm in barren lands. Ceramic. If something is ceramic, it is made of baked clay. The house's roof was made of ceramic tiles. Culinary. If something is culinary, it is related to cooking. I gained culinary skills after working in a restaurant for many years. Dense. If something is dense, it has a lot of things close together. I easily became lost in the dense forest. Dignity. Dignity is the ability to be calm and worthy of respect. When his company went out of business, he faced it with dignity. Dominate. To dominate someone or something is to control them. The loud man dominated the conversation. Edible. If something is edible, you can eat it. We learn about edible plants when we go camping. Hostile. If someone is hostile, they are angry and unfriendly. We were happy to move away from our hostile neighbor. Intake. Your intake of food is the amount of food you take into your body. The doctor said I needed to increase my intake of fruits and vegetables. Likewise. If someone does something likewise, they do the same thing as someone else. If Joe is staying away from school to go swimming, I want to do likewise. Malnutrition. Malnutrition is the condition of not getting enough nutrients. After eating only a meager amount of food, she suffered from malnutrition. Medication. Medication is medicine or drugs given to people who are sick. The doctor gave me medication to treat my illness. Misconception. A misconception is a wrong idea about something. People once believed the misconception that the Earth is flat. Obscure. If something is obscure, it is not well known. The old man travels the world in search of obscure books. Oppress. To oppress someone means to rule over them in a cruel and unfair way. Free speech had been oppressed in his country. Peel. To peel fruits and vegetables is to remove their skin. We peeled the apple before eating it. Prescription. A prescription is permission from a doctor to get medicine. The doctor gave me a prescription for my medication. Respirator. A respirator is a machine that helps weak or sick people breathe. The man needed a respirator to breathe. Strive. To strive is to struggle to achieve something. People who strive to succeed often do. Becoming a healer. Years ago, I worked at a small health clinic in a remote country.
I had gone there to treat an obscure syndrome. It attacked people's lungs, causing them to need a respirator to breathe. I was trying out a new medication to treat these people instead of using a respirator. If I was successful, I would become famous. Everything was going fine until war broke out in a nearby country. Many people from that country fled the hostile invading army. The army wanted to dominate the people, but the people didn't want to be oppressed. So they walked hundreds of miles across barren land to get away. Some of these people came to our clinic for treatment. I talked with them and learned of their difficulties. They did not beg or complain. I was impressed by their dignity. There was one woman I will never forget. Her son suffered from malnutrition and stomach pain, and she didn't know what to do. Neither did I. I was not adept at treating malnutrition. Nonetheless, when I saw her sadness, I knew I had to help her son. The woman had been feeding her son bread and water. She had a misconception that it would be enough for him. However, I knew that he needed to eat vegetables too. So I took her outside and showed her a dense patch of edible plants. I taught her how to dig up the roots, peel them, and cook them for her son. I explained that she should increase her son's intake of these vegetables. Likewise, she should strive to get him some meat once a week to help him regain his strength. I sent her off with a prescription for some pain medicine, but she also left my office with some new culinary skills. A few weeks later, she returned to tell me her son was healthy again. As thanks, she gave me a beautiful ceramic bowl. I never became famous, but I kept that bowl to remind me what it truly means to heal someone. Archaic. If something is archaic, it is very old or outdated. To be competitive, we must update our archaic equipment. Benevolent. If someone is benevolent, they are kind and generous. My father was a benevolent man and gave lots of money to charity. Brass. Brass is a metal that is used to make musical instruments and ornaments. Brass is used to make musical instruments like trumpets. Capitalism. Capitalism is an economic system where private companies make goods for profit. Most industries in the world today are based on capitalism. Component. A component is a part of a larger machine. Computers have many different components, so they are complicated to build. Dependence. Dependence is a situation in which somebody relies on something else. Young children have a dependence on their parents. Diminish. To diminish means to reduce or get smaller. As the economy got worse, my savings diminished. Drawback. A drawback is a disadvantage. The drawback of having a car is that it is very expensive to maintain. Fad. A fad is something that is popular for a short time. The hula hoop was a fad for a few years, but it soon lost its popularity. Impose. To impose means to interrupt or force your ideas on other people. He imposes on his wife every morning by expecting her to make breakfast. Managerial. Managerial describes something related to a manager or management. Nancy has a managerial position at the bank. Medieval. If something is medieval, it comes from the period between 650 and 1500 CE. We visited a castle that was built during medieval times. Obsolete. If something is obsolete, it is not used anymore because something better exists. Since computers became inexpensive, typewriters have become obsolete. Peninsula. A peninsula is a large piece of land that is surrounded by the sea on three sides. The state of Florida is an example of a peninsula. Prestige. If a person has prestige, people admire or respect them. The young actress gained much prestige after she won an award. Proportion. 
A proportion is an amount that shows the link between the parts and the whole. Only a small proportion of the people in this town actually work here. Radical. If something is radical, it is very new or different. The president is planning to make some radical changes to the law. Refute. To refute something means to prove that it is false or incorrect. The bank manager has refuted the claims that he lied to his customers. Spectacular. If something is spectacular, it looks or sounds very impressive. There was a spectacular fireworks display in the park at New Year. Weave. To weave means to make cloth using horizontal and vertical threads. We saw a woman weave a blanket on her vacation to South America. The weaving machine. Mr. Joseph Franklin invented a machine that could weave cloth. It wove faster and straighter than anyone could weave by hand. He decided to take it to two cities on a peninsula, Netherton and Wilton. In these cities, a large proportion of the people worked in weaving. Joseph felt sure he could sell his machine there. Joseph first took his machine to the mayor of Netherton. Think of the money you will earn from this machine, Joseph said to him. But the mayor was a benevolent man. He knew about the people's dependence on weaving for their livelihood. If he bought the machine, the people would lose their jobs. So he refused to buy it. Joseph said, We are no longer in the medieval age. Soon everything will be made by machines. Cloth made by hand will soon be obsolete. If you don't change your archaic ways, your town's income will diminish. But the mayor said, I don't like capitalism. Don't impose your radical ideas on my town. Go away. So Joseph took his machine to the mayor at Wilton. This mayor thought Joseph's machine was spectacular and spent a long time looking at its different components made of brass. The mayor couldn't refute the fact that the machine had drawbacks that would affect the people's jobs, but he realized the machine could bring money and prestige. So he ordered Joseph to build 20 of them. Within a year, Wilton was a wealthy city famous for its wonderful cloth. People no longer wove, but worked in managerial jobs at cloth factories instead. Nobody bought the cloth from Netherton anymore. The people of Netherton became poor and hungry. Finally, the mayor of Netherton called Joseph and said, Now I realize that your machine is not just a passing fad. To succeed in business, we must be willing to change. He then ordered 20 weaving machines. After that, Both Netherton and Wilton became rich cities, famous throughout the land for their wonderful cloth. Accountant An accountant is a person whose job is to keep financial accounts. The accountant helped me keep track of my money. Capitalist A capitalist is a business person who invests in trade and industry for profit. The capitalist invested in a factory that made wheat into cereal. Contempt. Contempt is the feeling of having no respect for something. The judge had contempt for the wicked criminal. Dedicate. To dedicate oneself to something means to put a lot of time and effort into it. The nun dedicated herself to helping people in need. Ditch. A ditch is a narrow hole cut into the ground by a road or a field. When the car slid off of the road, it fell into the ditch. Enterprise. An enterprise is a company or business. My father owns an advertising enterprise. Exquisite. When something is exquisite, it is very beautiful or pleasant. The artist made exquisite watercolor paintings. Finance. To finance someone or something means to provide money for them. The government financed the scientists' experiments with new weapons. Indifferent. When someone is indifferent toward something, they have a lack of interest in it. Lisa is indifferent toward school. She doesn't care what her final grades are. Irrigate. To irrigate means to supply water to land so that crops can grow. In dry climates, it is important to irrigate fields of crops.
Maximize. To maximize something is to make it great in amount, size, or importance. You should exercise regularly to maximize a healthy lifestyle. Monetary. When something is monetary, it relates to money. A strong monetary policy is important for a country to be successful. Precaution. A precaution is an action that is meant to stop something bad from happening. As a precaution, you should put on a heavy coat before going out in cold weather. Preliminary. Preliminary describes something that happens before a more important event. The runners must do well in the preliminary races to qualify for the final race. Saturate. To saturate something means to completely soak it with a liquid. The sponge was saturated with soapy water and dripped all over the floor. Simplicity. The simplicity of something is the fact that it is easy to do or understand. We were able to find the house thanks to the simplicity of the directions. So, to sow seeds means to plant them in the ground. He always sows his garden seeds in the springtime. Soy. Soy is a food made from soybeans such as flour or butter. Soy can be made into tofu, sauce, and also milk. Spade. A spade is a tool used for digging. The gardener used her spade to make a hole for the seed. Upcoming. When something is upcoming, that means it will happen in the near future. The kids were worried about their upcoming exam. Life on the farm. Bill was an excellent capitalist. He financed a large aviation enterprise that made a lot of money. He knew how to maximize monetary gains in every business deal he made. Bill had one big problem, though. He was unhappy all the time. Bill knew that he had to do something about it, or he would be depressed for the rest of his life. One day, Bill was in his office when he heard a knock at the door. Come in, Bill said loudly. His accountant Jane walked in. Jane said, Sir, I haven't seen you smile in a year. What are you so sad about? Your company is doing very well. Bill told her, I'm indifferent about my company's success. I have contempt toward my job. I just want to do something I enjoy. I've always loved growing plants as a hobby. I'm going to quit my job and become a farmer. You're crazy, Jane said. I don't think so, Bill replied. I want the simplicity of a life on a farm. I'm tired of all this stress. Farming will make me happy. The very next day, Bill carried out the preliminary task of buying land and tools. Then he got to work. He sowed many types of seeds. He planted soy, cabbage, carrots, and onions. The upcoming summer is going to be very dry, thought Bill. I need to irrigate my crops as a precaution, in case it doesn't rain enough. He took his spade and dug a ditch down the middle of his farm. Water from the stream will flow down the ditch and saturate the soil around every plant, Bill thought. Bill dedicated himself to farming. After a year, his farm looked exquisite. Most importantly, Bill was happy. He finally had the life he always wanted. Acute. When a bad thing is acute, it is very severe and intense. When she fell out of the tree, the girl felt an acute pain in her arm. Aggression. Aggression is behavior that is mean or violent to others. The problem was only made worse by Mark's aggression. Banquet. A banquet is a grand formal dinner. Both families brought a lot of food for the wedding banquet. Biography. A biography is an account of someone's life that is written by someone else. We read a biography about Charles Darwin in science class. Boost. To boost something means to increase or improve it. Lowering prices boosts customers' interest in shopping. Clap. To clap means to hit one's hands together to express pleasure or get attention.
After the speech, everyone in the crowd clapped their hands for the speaker. Compel. To compel someone to do something means to force them to do it. Traffic signs compel drivers to drive safely. Dominance. The dominance of a person is their state of being more powerful than others. Large gorillas hit their chests to express their dominance over others. Gorgeous. When something is gorgeous, it is very pleasing and attractive. The girl picked out a gorgeous dress to wear to the dance. Inevitable. When something is inevitable, it is certain to happen or cannot be avoided. It is inevitable that the days will get longer in the summer. Legacy. A legacy is an effect that exists because of a person or thing in the past. The legacy of the ancient Egyptians can be seen in their monuments. Masterpiece. A masterpiece is a very good painting, novel, movie, or other work of art. The Arc de Triomphe is considered a masterpiece in the world of architecture. Multiple. If there are multiple things, there are many of them. When the stunt went wrong, the man suffered multiple injuries. Narrate. To narrate a story means to write about it or read it aloud. This story was written by John, but Aaron is narrating it to the crowd. Notorious. When something is notorious, it is well known because of something bad. This area of town is notorious for gang activity. Outdated. When something is outdated, it is old and no longer useful in modern time. Tape players are becoming outdated because of digital music. Overall. When a thing is talked about overall, the whole thing is considered. Overall, the party was a huge success. Partiality. A partiality is a tendency to prefer one thing to another. She has a partiality for walking to school instead of driving. Spontaneous. When an act is spontaneous, it is not planned. It happens suddenly. My wife made a spontaneous decision to buy a new sofa while I was at work. Virtue. A virtue is a good quality or way of behaving. My best virtue is forgiveness. Beethoven's Gift. Beethoven was a great composer of classical music in the 1800s. Many biographies have been written that narrate his dominance in the music world. But do you know what really makes him special? Even though millions of people got to hear his multiple masterpieces, he never did. Beethoven wrote his best pieces after he went completely deaf. His partiality toward classical music developed when he was very young. He wasn't interested in anything else as a child. When he was five, he learned how to play the piano. From then, nothing could stop his passion for writing and playing music. When Beethoven was 20, he began to lose his hearing. He got acute, spontaneous pains in his ears. His hearing kept getting worse over time. It was inevitable that he would eventually lose it altogether. It was very hard for him to keep writing music. He lost the virtue of patience, and he became notorious for his aggression. Still, he never stopped trying. His passion for music compelled him to keep performing, even after he went deaf. He couldn't hear himself play, but he knew that his creations sounded gorgeous. His final concert was held at a huge banquet. He gave the musicians a cue, and they began to play. He directed the concert with all his heart. He couldn't hear the music, but he said that he could feel it. Overall, performance was one of the finest in history. When it was over, he turned to the crowd. They clapped and cheered wildly. In that beautiful moment, the applause boosted his emotions and he began to cry. In 1827, he suffered from lead poisoning. He didn't survive the sickness, but his music did, because great music never becomes outdated. Even though Beethoven is gone, his legacy will live on forever. Word List Anthropology Anthropology is the study of people, society, and culture. 
In anthropology class, I learned about simple tools that ancient cultures used. Applaud. To applaud means to clap in order to show approval. Everyone cheered and applauded Manny's efforts. Appoint. To appoint someone to a job means to give the job to them. Two students were appointed to help the scientists with their research. Compatible. When things are compatible, they work well or exist together successfully. Jan and Fred are too different. They will never be compatible. Competence. Competence is the ability to do something well or effectively. The job was easy because the group had enough competence to do it well. Confer. To confer with someone means to discuss something with them to make a decision. I will have to confer with my wife before I can purchase a new car. Consecutive. When things are consecutive, they happen one after another without interruption. The king ruled for ten consecutive years. Crude. When something is crude, it is not exact or detailed, but it can still be useful. She drew crude hearts on the ground to show how much she loved him. Cube. A cube is a solid object with six square surfaces that are all the same size. Please get me some ice cubes to put in my soda. Feedback. Feedback is comments to a person about how they are doing something. I asked my boss for feedback on my work. Ignorance. Ignorance of something is lack of knowledge about it. When he failed the test, his ignorance of math was obvious. Masculine. When something is masculine, it is a quality or thing related to men. American football is usually considered a masculine sport. Monument. A monument is a structure that is built to remind people of a person or event. A large monument was built to honor the brave soldiers. Muscular. When someone is muscular, they are very fit and strong. He exercised regularly so that his body could become muscular. Posture. A person's posture is the position in which they stand or sit. Your back will feel better if you improve your posture. Situate. To situate something means to place or build it in a certain place. The road was situated between the forest and the lake. Supervise. To supervise something means to make sure that it is done correctly. Alan supervised the construction workers to ensure everyone's safety. Symmetry. Symmetry is the state of having two halves that are exactly the same. The artist made sure to use perfect symmetry when painting the butterfly. Tattoo. A tattoo is a design that is drawn permanently on the skin with needles. The surfer had tattoos on both his arms. Undergraduate. An undergraduate is a student at a college who is studying for a bachelor's degree. She was excited to finish high school and enroll as an undergraduate in the fall. Brothers. John and Mark were brothers, but they were quite different people. Mark looked very masculine. He had a mustache and was very muscular. He was a sculptor. He made things out of stone. Mark was a good artist, but he was not very intelligent. John looked nothing like his brother. He was small and weak, but he was very smart. John was an undergraduate in college, and he studied anthropology and history. He knew a lot about ancient cultures. The brothers loved each other very much, but they thought they had nothing in common. One day, the mayor appointed Mark to build a monument, a statue of Egyptian pharaoh Tut. Mark agreed to do the job. But he had a problem. He had no idea who Pharaoh Tut was. However, he thought he had the competence to build a good statue anyway. He made some crude measurements and sculpted a statue of a very old man with a tattoo on his chest. Mark was proud of his work, 
But when John saw the statue, he laughed aloud. What's so funny? Mark asked. John replied, Your ignorance makes me laugh. Don't you know that Tut was only a teenager when he was Pharaoh? Let me help you. I'll supervise your work. I'll give you feedback, and we'll make this a great monument. Mark got another cube of stone. John told him what Tut looked like. Make him tall with good posture, John said, and make sure there is symmetry in his body. Mark conferred with John about every detail. For ten consecutive hours, the brothers worked. At last, the finished statue was situated in front of the museum. Everyone applauded the brothers' good work. We work together very well. I guess we are compatible after all, Mark said. John replied, I agree. When we combine our talents, we are capable of greatness. Word list Brook A brook is a small stream. Water flows down several brooks on the mountain. Cater To cater to someone means to provide them with all the things needed or wanted. Bill was too sick to get out of bed, so his nurse catered to his needs. Considerate When someone is considerate, they pay attention to the needs of others. The considerate boy gave a present to his girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Consumption The consumption of food or drink is the act of eating or drinking it. These apples are too rotten for consumption. Criteria Criteria are factors on which a person judges or decides something. Before she got the job, she had to meet all the necessary criteria. Crust Crust is the tough, outer part of a loaf of bread. The little boy never ate the crust of his pizza. Degrade To degrade someone means to cause people to have shame. The teacher degraded Bob when she announced his poor performance to the class. Entitle To entitle someone means to give them the rights to have or do something. His golden ticket entitled him to sit in the front row at the concert. Escort To escort people means to safely accompany them to a place. Her bodyguards escorted her to the movie theater. External When something is external, it is connected to an outer part. It is warm inside my house, but the external temperature is freezing. Facility A facility is a building that exists for a particular purpose. There are many educational facilities in big cities. Faculty A faculty is a mental or physical ability. The boy's mental faculties impressed all of his teachers. Heap A heap of things is a large pile of them. After the building was torn down, all that was left was a heap of bricks. Hemisphere a hemisphere is one half of the Earth. In the Northern Hemisphere, the weather is usually warmest in July and August. Hound A hound is a type of dog that is often used for racing or hunting. The men took their hounds with them when they went on the hunting trip. Impersonal If something is impersonal, it is not friendly and makes people feel unimportant. The boy felt scared on his first day at the big, impersonal high school. Ornament An ornament is an attractive object that people display in their homes. The woman kept some colorful ornaments on the shelves. Pedestrian A pedestrian is a person who is walking on a street. Cars should be careful when pedestrians are walking around. Sanctuary a sanctuary is a place where people in danger can go to be safe. The church was made into a sanctuary for homeless people in the winter. Spectator A spectator is someone who watches something, especially a sports event. There were thousands of spectators at the big game. The Old Hound 
Elvis was a dog that loved to run. He possessed all the criteria to be a great racing dog. He had long legs, lean muscles, and a strong heart. He was so good that he never lost a race in the Northern Hemisphere. Spectators who bet on dog races always picked Elvis to win. After 10 years of racing, however, Elvis was getting old. His faculties were not as strong as they used to be. His owner got upset when Elvis started losing. Elvis's owner wasn't a considerate person. He degraded the dog all the time. Finally, his owner decided to get rid of him. He threw Elvis in his car and took him to the middle of the forest. He tossed him out and drove away. Elvis was cold and scared. He decided to follow a brook into the city. Elvis soon found out that the city was a big and impersonal place. Everywhere he went, he saw signs that said, No dogs allowed. Pedestrians yelled at him. He was sad, hungry, and alone. He thought that all people were as cruel and uncaring as his owner had been. He was ready to give up when he heard a soft voice say, What a beautiful hound! Elvis looked up and saw an old woman. She said, You're entitled to a better life than this. I can take you to a sanctuary for old dogs like you. I'll cater to all your needs. Would you like to come with me? The woman escorted Elvis to a beautiful facility. There was a sign on the external door that said, Dogs Welcome. The interior of the building was painted blue, and shiny ornaments hung from the ceiling. There was a heap of tasty bones and bread crusts for consumption. Elvis learned there were kind people in the world after all. He was so thankful that he jumped up and licked the woman's face. Word List Asset An asset is a skill or quality that is useful or valuable. The coach realized the boy's speed was an asset to the team. Aspect An aspect is one part or feature of something. I thought about the different aspects of owning two dogs. Braille Braille is a system of raised patterns on paper that allows the blind to read. The boy enjoyed reading his favorite books written in Braille. Bud A bud is a part of a plant that turns into a flower or a leaf. Two weeks after planting the seed, a small bud appeared. Coordinate To coordinate things is to make different parts work together. Each skating team had to coordinate their movements for the show. Disprove To disprove something means to show that it is not true. The scientists disproved the theory that the sun moved around the earth. Humanitarian If something is humanitarian, it is connected to helping people's lives. After the flood, several humanitarian organizations offered help. Hypothesis A hypothesis is an idea for something that has not been proved yet. The teacher didn't experiment to prove whether his hypothesis was right. Imprint An imprint is an effect or lesson from an experience that is hard to forget. The experience of war left an imprint on his mind that troubled him. Informative When something is informative, it provides a lot of information. The travel guide had a lot of informative facts about the region. Optic When something is optic, it relates to the eyes or light. Her blindness was caused by a problem with her optic nerve. Premise A premise is an idea on which something is based. The premise of the movie that Bobby and I watched was unrealistic. Rack A rack is an object with shelves that holds things. He stored his tools on a rack. Renaissance The Renaissance was a period between the 14th and 17th centuries. Leonardo da Vinci was a popular artist of the Renaissance. Revere To revere something is to admire it greatly. The students revere their teacher who has taught them a lot. Simultaneous When something is simultaneous, it occurs at the same time as something else. The movement of the gears inside the watch was simultaneous. Skeptic 
A skeptic is a person who does not believe something. The scientist showed the skeptic that dinosaurs did exist by providing evidence. Spatial. When something is spatial, it relates to the position and size of things. He was asked where the books were located to test his spatial ability. Specify. To specify is to describe something clearly. The poster didn't specify where the concert was taking place. Wax. Wax is a substance that is slightly shiny and melts when heated. The candles are made of wax. Day without sight. On Friday afternoon, Sam's teacher had a special assignment. Next week, we'll be studying humanitarian efforts around the world since the time of the Renaissance. Including those to help the blind, she said. Over the weekend, I want each of you to wear a blindfold for an entire day. The premise of this experiment is that it will help you understand what it's like to be blind, she said. Sam was a skeptic. He really didn't think the assignment would be too challenging. On Saturday morning, Sam took a piece of cloth and tied it around his head to cover his eyes. Then he went into the kitchen for breakfast. He heard the voices of his parents and brothers, but couldn't specify where each voice was coming from. He thought about how important hearing is for blind people. Could you pass me the newspaper, please? He asked. Just then, he remembered he couldn't see the words on the page. He wondered if braille newspapers were ever made. After finishing breakfast, his brothers asked him to play soccer. As he followed them, he accidentally walked into the baker's rack. He also found that he couldn't play soccer. He wouldn't be able to coordinate his actions without being able to see. Without his optic senses, he had no spatial awareness. Furthermore, he couldn't do simultaneous activities because he had to make sure he was safe first. He sat on the lawn. Suddenly, he realized that though he couldn't see, his other senses worked perfectly fine. In fact, He began to realize new and different aspects of common objects. For example, he took a flower bud and felt it with his finger. He realized for the first time that it seemed to be covered with wax. His hypothesis about being blind was disproved. The informative experiment had an imprint on him. It showed him sight was an asset that should be appreciated and taught him to revere the talents of blind people. Word list. Accessory. An accessory is a thing that is added to another thing to make it look better. The store sold colorful accessories like bags, sunglasses, and makeup. Acquisition. An acquisition is something that a person buys or gets in some way. Marty was happy with his new acquisition, a very fast bicycle. Adequate. When something is adequate, it is good enough for something else. Without adequate notice of the roadblock, they will have to turn around. Cardboard. Cardboard is a material made out of stiff paper. It is often used to make boxes. We packed our things into cardboard boxes and moved to our new home. Dilemma. A dilemma is a difficult situation in which a choice has to be made. Choosing either the tastier or healthier drink proved to be quite a dilemma. Elaborate. When something is elaborate, it contains a lot of details. She gave the teacher an elaborate explanation of her project. Facilitate. To facilitate something is to make it easier. To facilitate the meeting, Melissa used a simple computer program. Fleet. A fleet is a group of ships. The fleet of ships spent a few days at the dock. Grid. A grid is a pattern of squares with numbers and letters to find places on a map. We located our town using the grid. Import. To import means to bring in a product from another country. Foods that have been imported are usually more expensive. Infer. To infer something is to decide it is true based on other information one has. 
By the position of the sun in the sky, she inferred that it was noon. Inflate. To inflate something means to fill it up with air. I helped him inflate the balloons. Innate. When something is innate, it is something that one is born with. It is not learned. He had the innate desire to please his teachers. Marble. Marble is a type of rock that feels cold and is smooth when cut. The large house had floors made of marble. Mast. A mast is a long pole on a ship that holds the sail. The mast held both sails of the ship upright. Nausea. Nausea is the feeling of being sick to your stomach. The doctor said the medicine would help get rid of her nausea. Naval. When something is naval, it relates to a country's navy or military ships. The country sent all of its naval forces to protect them. Pouch. A pouch is a small, flexible bag that is usually made of cloth. I keep my money in a small pouch. Saturated. If something is saturated, it is completely wet. Lee's hair became saturated in the rainstorm. Update. An update is an act of making something more modern. I'm doing an update on my personal phone directory. The big ship. Ernest looked at his fleet of ships. Usually, he used them for his firm, which imported marble statues from other countries. But today, he was going fishing, and the ship he chose was his favorite. It had an elaborate painting on the side that showed a naval battle. It also had some new updates to its computer system. His favorite ship's latest acquisition was a device with a small grid to show the ship's exact location. This new accessory kept Ernest from getting lost. At daybreak, Ernest happily sailed the temperate waters until he was far from land. Then he saw a small boat in the distance. There was an old man standing next to its mast. He was waving his arms in the air. There was also a boy with his head hanging over the boat's edge. Ernest inferred that the boy was suffering from nausea. Both of their clothes were saturated with seawater. Ernest assumed that they were in trouble. Most people never realized, but Ernest had an innate desire to help people. He began sailing toward them, eager to facilitate their rescue and thus solve their dilemma. As he got closer to the boat, he was shocked by its simplicity. The boat's wood looked no stronger than cardboard, and the equipment was old. Still, there were several large fish in a pouch in the boat. Ernest threw a large package onto the boat. He yelled, "Here! You can inflate this boat to get you back to land." "Get out of here!" screamed the old man. Ernest was confused. "Don't you need help?" he asked. "Your ship doesn't seem adequate enough to sail so far away from land. You've just scared away a huge fish," the boy said. "We waved to let you know you were too close to us." Ernest turned around and headed home. He learned that it's better not to help unless asked to; otherwise, you might not help anyone at all. Word list. Addict. An addict is a person who cannot stop doing or having something. She was a coffee addict. She had more than three cups each day. Archaeological. When something is archaeological, it relates to archaeology. They found archaeological evidence that proved an ancient species of man. Archaeology. Archaeology is the study of ancient people through their artifacts. He studied archaeology to learn more about ancient Egyptian culture. Brainstorm. To brainstorm is to have a lot of ideas about a certain topic. The students met after school to brainstorm ideas for their assignment. Budget. A budget is the amount of money available to spend on something. His budget for food was very tight. Chaotic. When something is chaotic, it is crazy, confused, and hectic. The first day of school can be chaotic for a new student. Sight. 
To cite something is to mention it as an example or as proof of something. She cited six reasons that the school needed to build new classrooms. Correspond. To correspond is to match or to be similar to something. The boy's story didn't correspond with his mother's version. Courtyard. A courtyard is an outdoor area that is surrounded by the walls of a building. During the summer, the courtyard is a nice place to have lunch. Estate. An estate is a large area of land owned by a family or organization. He lived on his father's estate in the country. Fraud. Fraud is the crime of gaining money by lying or by tricking people. Experts say that credit card fraud increases around the holidays. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas that has no taste, color, or smell. Balloons filled with hydrogen can easily float away if you aren't careful. Integrity. Integrity is honesty and good morals. The principal had a lot of integrity. Knit. To knit is to make fabric by connecting strings together. My grandmother knitted me a sweater. Outlook. An outlook is a person's opinion or way of thinking about something. He changed his outlook about rats after he read a book about them. Parachute. A parachute is a device that helps people and things fall to the ground safely. They used parachutes dropped from airplanes to send supplies to the civilians. Prehistoric. When something is prehistoric, it is from a time when there was no written history. The scientists found prehistoric pots used by the people in the area. Proponent. A proponent is a person who supports an idea or a plan. He was a proponent of using environmentally friendly products. Refine. To refine something is to make it better by making changes. The principal refined his method of controlling students over the years. Restrict. To restrict is to limit something and prevent it from getting bigger. The club restricted the amount of members. The history of parachutes. Scientists who study archaeology say that there may be some evidence of prehistoric parachutes. But the first written history of the device comes from China about 2,100 years ago. Scientists cite an ancient book that describes parachutes. However, there is no archaeological evidence that proves that an actual parachute was ever made. Later, people from northern Africa and Italy also had ideas about a similar invention. In fact, a Leonardo da Vinci drawing corresponds closely with the modern parachute design. In 1783, French scientist Sebastian Lenormand invented the first modern parachute. Sebastian brainstormed with other scientists to come up with a way to help people jump safely out of burning buildings. He thought the solution was to give people an object to restrict their speed while they traveled toward the ground. Many people thought that he was up to some kind of fraud, but Sebastian had a lot of integrity. His budget was limited, so he first tested his theory by using two umbrellas. He jumped out of a tree and found that the umbrellas worked. Next, he refined his invention. Rather than using umbrellas, he knit a large parachute. Finally, he jumped off a tall building on a French estate and landed safely in the courtyard. Sebastian's work gave another man an idea. Jean-Pierre Blanchard had a different outlook than Sebastian. He was a hot air balloon addict. He was one of the first people to ride in a hot air balloon powered by hydrogen gas. He was a proponent of using the parachutes to exit from hot air balloons. Starting in 1785, he used his dog to show that animals could land safely from hot air balloons by using parachutes. 
Then, in 1793, he was faced with a chaotic experience. The hot air balloon he was riding in burst and started to fall. He was forced to use a parachute himself. And, much to his relief, it saved his life. Word list. Attorney. An attorney is one who gives others advice about the law. The attorney appeared in front of the judge for me. Chronic. When something is chronic, it happens over and over again over time. He had chronic pain in his chest and needed to see a doctor. Discipline. Discipline is training that helps people follow the rules. One of the teacher's jobs is to teach her students discipline. Donor. A donor is somebody who gives something to an organization. He was proud to be a blood donor. Fellow. A fellow is someone who shares a job or quality with someone else. All of my fellow patients at the hospital have also complained about the food. Gossip. Gossip is information that might be untrue but is still discussed anyway. The friends exchanged gossip about the people they knew in school. Graduate. To graduate from a school means to complete and pass all courses of study there. At the end of the spring, my friends and I will graduate from high school. Graffiti. Graffiti is words or drawings in public places. The wall was covered with colorful graffiti. Guardian. A guardian is someone who protects somebody or something. The librarians are the guardians of the books. Implicate. To implicate someone is to show that they have done a crime or something bad. The man was implicated in the theft at the store. Kin. Kin is a person's family and relatives. His kin were all farmers. Referee. A referee is a person who makes sure that the rules are followed in sports. The soccer player didn't agree with the referee. Sever. To sever something is to cut through it completely. He severed the string using scissors. Shaft. A shaft is a handle of a tool or weapon. The golf club had a long wooden shaft that he held in his hands. Stab. To stab means to cut someone or something with a sharp object, like a knife. He stabbed the fork into the potato and passed it to his daughter. Stimulus. A stimulus is something that causes growth or activity. Having a lot of money is a stimulus for people to buy more things. Suspicion. A suspicion is a feeling that something is possible or true in a crime. The police had a suspicion that the driver had stolen the purse. Terminate. To terminate something means to stop or end it. The trip was terminated after the car broke down. Theme. A theme is the main subject of a book, movie, or painting. The students discuss the book's theme in class. Tuition. Tuition is the amount of money paid to go to a school. University tuitions have increased by 50% in the last five years. I didn't do it. Billy was in big trouble. The day before, a donor gave the school a painting with a sports theme. It showed a referee congratulating two athletes. The principal hung the painting in front of the office, hoping that it would be a stimulus for students to play sports. The next morning, however, the painting was destroyed. There was graffiti on it, and it had many holes in it. The worst part was that one of Billy's fellow students said she thought she saw Billy do it. But Billy didn't do it. The principal called Billy's parents and said, Billy won't tell us the truth. 
He's a chronic liar, and he ruined the painting. If you don't pay for it, we'll terminate his education here. Billy's parents didn't have enough money to pay for the painting and for his tuition, but Billy's parents had an idea. That afternoon, they went to see Mr. Myers, an attorney. Mr. Myers, my son has been implicated in a crime he says he didn't do. Billy's father said, "Everybody believes the gossip. Even some of our own kin think he did it. I believe you. My suspicion is that the tape from the security cameras will show who really did it," said Mr. Myers. The next day, Mr. Myers received a packet with the videotape from the school. It showed another student who resembled Billy walking up to the painting and writing on it. Then the student took a knife by the shaft and started to stab large holes in it. Finally, he severed the rope that held up the painting, and it fell to the floor. Mr. Myers showed the tape to the principal. Clearly, that's not Billy, he said. This boy is actually responsible and needs some discipline. Billy was happy that someone believed him. He said to Mr. Myers, "When I graduate and go to university, I will major in law so I can be a guardian of justice like you." If someone is aggressive, then they constantly want to fight. Nobody liked to play games with him because he was always too aggressive. Amnesty. Amnesty is a pardon given to prisoners of war. She was denied amnesty for her involvement in the war. Arena. An arena is a building where people can watch sports and concerts. The new arena was all set to hold the championship match. Auditorium. An auditorium is a large building used for public events. People have gathered at the school auditorium to watch the play. Captive. A captive is a prisoner. The guards told the captive that there was no way he could escape the prison. Combat. Combat is fighting between two people or groups. The two warriors were locked in combat. Commonplace. If something is commonplace, then it is ordinary. There is nothing commonplace about the way Morris dresses. Compound. A compound is an enclosed area such as a prison or factory. The workers waited outside the compound for the gates to the factory to open. Core. A core is a division of a military force. The army had a core of archers who trained apart from the regular soldiers. Distract. To distract someone means to stop them from concentrating on something. The phone call distracted him so much that he forgot all about his homework. Dumb. If someone is dumb, they are unable to speak. She did not share the secret. She remained silent, as if she were dumb. Foe. A foe is an enemy or opponent. It was hard to believe that anyone could be his foe. Hack. To hack something means to cut it into uneven pieces. My uncle used the axe to hack the tree into many logs. Meditate. To meditate means to focus or think deeply in silence. She liked to meditate for several hours of each day. Nick. To nick someone means to cut them slightly with a sharp object. While cutting the carrots, the cook nicked his finger with the edge of his knife. Provoke. To provoke someone means to annoy them on purpose to cause violence. The older boy provoked Paul by calling him mean names. Realm. A realm is any area of activity or interest. He was not very active in the realm of business. Reign. A reign is the period of time in which a ruler rules. The emperor's reign lasted for only two years.
Rust. Rust is a red and brown coating on iron objects caused by water and air. The old metal gate would not swing because the hinges were covered in rust. Sacred. If something is sacred, then it is worshipped and respected. One religion in India will not harm cows because it believes that they are sacred. A soldier was captured while fighting in an enemy king's land. It was well known that this king would make captives fight one another. This was commonplace during his reign. For these fights, the king had built several large arenas. He often awarded the winners by setting them free, or even having them join his elite army corps. The soldier, however, decided he had seen too much violence. He now felt that all life was sacred. The night before his first match, he made a risky decision. He decided that he would not engage in combat. He knew he may never be set free, but it was a decision that he was willing to accept. In the morning, he was led from the prisoner's compound to one of the king's arenas. A gate coated in rust stood between him and the auditorium's floor. He was worried, but he knew what he had to do. When the gate opened, he calmly walked to the center of the arena and sat. He started to meditate. His foe, Darius, who was skilled in the realm of sword fighting and was typically not very aggressive, would not fight the quiet soldier until he attacked Darius first. Darius tried to provoke him by hacking at the air close to his head with his sword. But the soldier was not distracted. He sat quietly, as if he were dumb and looked calmly up at the sky. Even when Darius nicked him on the cheek with the edge of his sword, the soldier did not move. At last he threw down his sword and shield and gave up. I can't fight someone who refuses to fight me, Darius shouted to the king. The king was very impressed with the soldier. Never in any battle had he seen someone so brave. As a result, he gave the peaceful soldier amnesty. The soldier's actions proved to the king and everyone in the arena that peace was more powerful than fighting. Word list Accordingly If someone acts accordingly, they act in a way that is suitable. He feels like he did a good job, and his boss should pay him accordingly. Anchor An anchor is a heavy object dropped from a boat to make it stay in one place. When the ship reached its destination, the crew dropped the anchor. Buoy A buoy is a floating sign that warns boats of dangerous areas. Don't steer the boat near those buoys. There are rocks underneath the water. Catastrophe A catastrophe is an unexpected event that causes great suffering or damage. It was a catastrophe for my family when my dad lost his job. Context Context is the situations that form the background of an event. They studied the context of the battle before giving their presentation. Designate To designate someone or something means to give them a particular description. The famous lighthouse was designated a historical monument. Distort To distort something means to lie about it. His lawyer distorted the facts so that he would be set free. Dock A dock is an enclosed area where ships go to be loaded, unloaded, and repaired. The huge ship pulled into the dock and the crew unloaded the cargo. Four. The fore of something is the front part of it. The teacher's desk is at the fore of the classroom. Frequent. If something is frequent, then it happens or is done often. While Dad was sick, the doctor made frequent visits to his house. Genuine. When something is genuine, it is true or real. After the painting was determined to be genuine, it sold for a million dollars.
Grease. Grease is an oily substance put on moving parts so they work smoothly. When I was done working on the car, I had grease all over my hands. Intricate. When something is intricate, it has many small parts or details. The intricate painting on the quilt was very lovely. Offset. To offset means to use one thing to cancel out the effect of another thing. Increased wages are offset by higher prices for goods. Overlap. To overlap something means to cover a piece of it. The gift on top overlaps the other gift on the bottom. Precipitate. To precipitate an event means to cause it to happen sooner than normal. The violent attack precipitated an all out war. Second hand. When something is second hand, it has been owned by someone else. Her second hand jeans were a bit faded in the front. Slot. A slot is a narrow opening in a machine or container. To operate the machine, put your coins into the slot. Submerge. To submerge something means to put it below the surface of a liquid. The whale submerged its huge body into the ocean. Tactic. A tactic is a careful plan to achieve something. Sam thought of a good tactic in order to attract more business. Jane's Pride. Jane and her father Mike owned a second hand boat. They called it High Hopes. The two loved to spend time together on the ocean and would often go on long fishing trips. Mike taught Jane how to perform important tasks. Jane learned how to steer the boat and adjust the sails. She learned how to put grease on the intricate gears of the motor. She learned how to submerge the anchor and secure it by putting a rope in a slot. Jane liked helping her father, but she thought that she wasn't very good at it. Sometimes she omitted important steps and made frequent mistakes. Jane thought she wasn't capable of manual labor. Mike wanted to prove to her that she was indeed capable and important. He thought of a tactic to test Jane's skills in the context of a catastrophe. He hid under the deck and pretended to be trapped. He shouted, Jane, I can't get out. You have to get back to the dock and find help. Jane began to panic. She thought she might make her usual mistakes, which would precipitate a disaster. However, she had to listen to her dad and act accordingly. She pulled up the anchor with all of her might. She remembered to overlap the sails to offset the wind. She steered the boat around buoys where the water was shallow. When they got to shore, Mike came out from under the deck. Jane said, I thought you were trapped. Mike laughed. He said, It wasn't a genuine emergency. I distorted the truth to test your abilities. Look at what a great job you did getting the boat home safely. I knew you could do it. To honor his daughter, Mike decided to rename his boat. He designated it Jane's Pride and painted the name on the fore of the ship. Jane finally had something to be proud of. Word list Aggregate. When a number is aggregate, it is made up of smaller amounts added together. The company totaled its aggregate sales for the entire year. Antibiotic. An antibiotic is a medical drug used to kill bacteria and treat infections. The doctor gave me a shot of an antibiotic when I got the flu. Circuit. A circuit is a piece of an electronic device that allows electricity to flow. Be very careful not to shock yourself when fixing an electrical circuit. Compliment. To compliment something or someone is to make them better. The wool scarf complimented her lovely eyes. Compress. 
To compress something means to press or squeeze it so that it takes up less space. I compressed my clothes to fit into a single suitcase. Database. A database is a collection of data that is stored in a computer. The company has a database of all the names and accounts of their customers. Equivalent. An equivalent is an amount or value that is the same as another amount or value. I worked the equivalent of 60 hours this week. Immune. When someone is immune to a disease, they cannot be affected by it. Children usually get shots to make them immune to certain diseases. Input. Input is information that is put into a computer. Type the input into the computer program. Intimate. When a relationship is intimate, the two things are very closely connected. I only tell my secrets to my most intimate friends. Magnet. A magnet is a piece of iron or other material which attracts iron toward it. I used a magnet to pick up the nails that were scattered on the floor. Metabolism. A person's metabolism is the way chemical processes in their body use energy. If you exercise every day, your metabolism speeds up. Microchip. A microchip is a small device inside a computer that holds information. I can put more data on my computer if I buy a more powerful microchip. Phase. A phase is a stage in a process or the gradual development of something. The first phase in the recycling project involves finding volunteers to help out. Pinch. To pinch means to take a piece of skin between one's fingers and squeeze. I pinched my nose so I couldn't smell the odor from the garbage. Prevalent. When something is prevalent, it is common. Growing a beard is more prevalent behavior in men than women. Quantum. When something is quantum, it relates to the behavior of atomic particles. The physics student studied quantum mechanics. Ratio. A ratio is a relationship between two things expressed in numbers or amounts. The boy to girl ratio is one to three. Spiral. A spiral is a shape which winds round and round in a larger and larger circle. A strand of DNA looks like two interlocking spirals. Viral. When something is viral, it is a disease or infection that is caused by a virus. The girl was in bed for a week when she had a viral infection. Microchips. The bond between humans and computers is becoming more intimate than ever before. Scientists are now putting microchips inside people's bodies. They are made up of compressed electrical circuits that can detect and record data about the body. They are tiny, but they hold the equivalent amount of data as most computers. A microchip is put to use inside a person with a simple procedure. First, a doctor must put data about the patient onto a chip. Input about the person's age, race, gender, and medical history is stored on the chip. The second phase of the process involves putting it in the person's skin. The doctor pinches a piece of skin and cuts a tiny hole with a tool shaped like a spiral. The chip is inserted and the skin is allowed to heal. At last, It begins the task of putting data into its database. Microchips scan the patient's body to record what is happening on the quantum level. They can find problems with the person's metabolism and organs. They can also detect viral infections. They can find the aggregate number of immune and infected cells and present the results in a ratio. 
They can even tell doctors what type of antibiotic to give to the patient. To recover the chip's data, the doctor uses a special magnet that copies it. This way, the doctor can put the information from the chip onto a computer. Then they can find out exactly what is wrong with the person. The idea of putting chips in humans is still very new. However, it is now becoming more prevalent. Scientists and doctors are hopeful about the future uses of microchips. Someday, all new babies might get a microchip soon after they are born. Doctors will be able to know about any problems from the very beginning. It is obvious that medicine and computers complement each other well. Word list Astounded. If you are astounded, you are very surprised. I was astounded that Monica won the art competition. Attribute. An attribute is a characteristic of a person or thing. He isn't very clever, but he does have some other positive attributes. Bilingual. If someone is bilingual, then they can speak two languages. Since you already know English, after learning French, you'll be bilingual. Clone. A clone is an identical copy of a living creature. Scientists recently made a clone of a sheep. Colloquial. Colloquial describes informal words that are more suitable for speech than writing. I find it difficult to understand people if they use colloquial language. Cosmetics. Cosmetics are substances that make the face and skin more beautiful. Girls often look nicer when they don't use so many cosmetics. Dash. To dash means to run or move quickly. Helen dashed up the stairs so she wouldn't be late for her appointment. Disgust. Disgust is a feeling of distaste and anger caused by something rude or unpleasant. He felt disgust toward his date because she had such terrible eating habits. Fluorescent. If something is fluorescent, it is such a bright color that it seems to give off light. She highlighted the key words in the document with a fluorescent yellow pen. Furious. If you are furious, you are extremely angry. My father was furious when he read my bad school report. Gulf. A gulf is a gap between people who do not understand each other. There has been a gulf between James and Tony since their parents died. Humanities. Humanities are subjects which analyze human ideas, such as history and literature. Jennifer has always been more interested in humanities than science. Knot. A knot is made when you tie the ends of rope or cord together. He tied a knot in his shoelaces so they wouldn't come off during the race. Linguist. A linguist is someone who studies languages. Tony is a good linguist and speaks four different languages. Participant. A participant is someone who joins in a social event or competition. There were thousands of participants in this year's marathon. Plausible. If something is plausible, it is reasonable or possible. It is plausible that Jack isn't here today because he is sick. Ritual. A ritual is a formal custom that people do regularly. Ken was very interested to learn about the religious rituals of the natives. Sibling. A sibling is a brother or sister. Jane has two siblings an older brother and a younger sister. Skinny. If someone is skinny, they are extremely thin. Polly is very skinny. I think she needs to eat more. Vague. If something is vague, it is not clear 
and it gives very few details. I asked him about his mother's health, but he was very vague about it. The twins. Katie and Alice were twins. They were so alike that few people could tell the siblings apart. They were almost like clones. They even used the same colloquial language as each other. They were best friends. But the twins' attributes were not all identical. Alice liked humanities, and Katie was a good linguist. One summer, Katie decided to be a participant at a summer camp in France. Alice wasn't interested in the French language, so she didn't go. But she felt angry that Katie wanted to spend the summer away from her. Two months later, Katie returned. Alice dashed to the airport to greet her sister. But when Alice saw Katie, she was astounded. Katie was now bilingual and she looked completely different. She was wearing nice clothes, cosmetics, and looked skinnier. Alice felt very messy next to her. She was just wearing a fluorescent t shirt and her hair had knots in it. When Alice asked Katie about France, Katie was vague and didn't say much. It made Alice furious and filled her with disgust because in the past they'd always told each other everything. Now there was a huge gulf between them. Over the weeks, the sisters spoke even less. Two months later, it was the twins' birthday. All their lives, they'd had a ritual. Before their birthday, they'd talk all night long. That night, Alice came into Katie's bedroom. I'm sorry I haven't spoken much lately, Katie said. I understand. You have new friends now, said Alice angrily. Katie said, My French friends don't write much nowadays. For a while, I thought they were more exciting than my friends at home, but I was wrong. You're my sister, and you'll always be my best friend. Alice said, I'm sorry too. I wanted our relationship to stay the same forever, but it's totally plausible for twins to have different interests. We can still be best friends without being together all the time. Word list. Acid. An acid is a chemical that can burn or dissolve other substances. In chemistry class, we mixed two acids together and watched the reaction. Administration. An administration is the group of people who manage a company or organization. She hoped she could be promoted to a job in the administration. Administrative. Administrative describes anything related to managing a company or organization. I work as an administrative assistant to the owner of the company. Biotechnology. Biotechnology is the use of living parts, such as cells, in industry and technology. Researchers at the biotechnology company use bacteria to make medicine. Cholesterol. Cholesterol is a substance in fat, tissues, and blood of all animals. When people have too much cholesterol, they are at a high risk for heart problems. Coalition A coalition is a group of people or organizations working for a common purpose. The companies formed a coalition to make trade less expensive. Deceptive When something is deceptive, it encourages one to believe something that is false. The scary looking man's appearance is deceptive, but he is actually very nice. Diabetes Diabetes is a medical condition where a person has too much sugar in their blood. Overweight people are more likely to suffer from diabetes than slimmer ones. Eliminate. To eliminate something that is unwanted means to completely remove it. Wearing a seatbelt eliminates some of the dangers of driving a car. Erosion. Erosion is the destruction of rock or soil due to flowing water or weather. Canyons are formed because rivers of fast moving water caused erosion. Ethics. Ethics are moral beliefs or rules about right or wrong. 
The act of stealing certainly doesn't go against some people's ethics. Explicit. If something is explicit, it is very clear, open, and truthful. The man gave a very explicit account of the car accident. Framework. A framework is a set of rules or ideas that people use to solve problems. His ideas fit into the framework of a successful business plan. Manufacture. To manufacture something means to make it in a factory. My father's company manufactures steel building materials. Mechanism. A mechanism is a part of a machine that performs a certain function. I can't open my car door because the locking mechanism is broke. Minimize. To minimize means to reduce something to the lowest possible level. I checked my homework twice to minimize errors I might have made. Nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid produced by flowers that bees and other insects collect. Bees use nectar to make their honey. Notion. A notion is an idea or belief about something. I have a notion that this route would get us to the beach. Prone. When things are prone to some bad thing, they are likely affected by it. Some people are more prone to catching colds than others. Straightforward. When something is straightforward, it is good because it is easy to understand. The teacher's grading system was straightforward and fair. The new Bioco. Jack got a new job at a biotechnology company called Bioco. Bioco manufactured drugs to treat diabetes and high cholesterol. Jack's job was to use a tiny mechanism to get nectar from flowers. The nectar was a main ingredient in the drugs. Jack liked his job, and he thought that Bioco was a caring company. However, Jack soon learned that the company wasn't as kind as he first thought. Bioco's motto was "Make the Earth a Better Place." However, this motto was deceptive. The company actually did a number of really bad things to the environment. The company produced a lot of smog and harmful acid. Bioco poured the acid in a nearby river, which caused erosion and made fish prone to illness. After a few weeks at the new job, Jack saw all the bad things Bioco was doing. He had always had strong ethics, and he knew he had to do something. One day, while the Bioco workers were eating in the cafeteria, Jack stood up and gave a speech. He said, "My fellow co-workers." I know you have all seen the evil things our company is doing. I have a notion that we can fix them if we form a coalition. We can go to the administration and tell them we'll quit if they don't eliminate the problems. They'll have no choice but to listen to us. Jack explained what they were to do. His coworkers liked his explicit plan. They went to the administrative offices and demanded that Bioco stop damaging the environment, or they all would quit. One supervisor said to them, "Thank you for being straightforward about this issue. Since I can't afford to lose all of you workers, I guess we'll just have to fix things." Jack, his supervisor, and his coworkers spent the next month designing a new framework for the company. They cleaned up the acid from the river and minimized the amount of air pollution the company released. At last, the company motto became apt. Astronomical. If something is astronomical, then it is extremely large. It's an astronomical distance between the Milky Way galaxy and the nearest galaxy. Atom. An atom is the smallest unit of a substance. A molecule consists of a combination of two or more atoms. Breadth. Breadth is the distance from one side to the other side of something. The breadth of the northern wall of the house is twenty meters. Circumference. A circumference is the distance completely around a circular object. 
The circumference of the Earth is obviously much larger than a baseball's. Comet. A comet is an object in space made of ice and rock with a tail of glowing dust. Comets take many decades to complete an orbit around a star. Crater. A crater is a large hole in a planet's or moon's surface. They could clearly see the big crater on the moon through the telescope. Crescent. A crescent is the curved shape lit on the moon's face during its early and late stages. Ten days ago, the entire moon was bright, but now only a small crescent is shining. Debris. Debris is the small pieces scattered from something wrecked or destroyed. The debris from the cube scattered on the floor. Despair. Despair is the complete loss of hope. After the other company won the account, our salespeople were filled with despair. Embed. To embed something means to place it firmly within a surrounding thing. The logger embedded the axe into the wood after chopping several logs. Fragment. A fragment is a small part of something. After the light broke, there were fragments of glass to clean up. Galaxy. A galaxy is any extremely large collection of star systems. Our solar system is located in the outer area of our galaxy. Gigantic. If something is gigantic, then it is extremely large. Some dinosaurs were so gigantic that they were the size of buildings. Gloom. Gloom is a state of being almost completely dark. In the gloom of the morning, it was difficult to see the boat on the lake. Radiate. To radiate means to send out energy or heat. The heat from the fireplace radiated throughout the room. Roam. To roam means to move around without a plan or purpose. All day the cows roamed around the field eating grass. Solitary. If something is solitary, then it is lonely or the only one. The only thing in the room was a solitary chair. Spectrum. The spectrum is the full range of color, ranging from red to violet. You can see the entire spectrum in a rainbow. Sphere. A sphere is a three-dimensional round shape, like a ball. The balloons were inflated into a variety of colorful spheres. Status. Status is the position of something or someone in relation to others. She had achieved the status of being the smartest girl in the class. How Comet Got His Tail. A solitary rock roamed through the cold gloom of outer space. It slowly drifted through the debris of broken asteroids with a feeling of sadness. In the vast and beautiful galaxy, it was only a tiny rock. It felt like an insignificant atom. In its journeys, it encountered many amazing objects. It flew by beautiful crescent moons that were covered with craters and moon dust. Why can't I be as beautiful as them? It thought. The rock passed a gigantic planet. The sphere had a circumference hundreds of times larger than the breadth of the small rock. Why can't I be as large as that? It wondered. The rock was filled with despair. It was surrounded by beauty and greatness, yet it was just a small and ugly fragment of rock. One day, it approached the area of an astronomical star. What's wrong? The star asked. Oh, I wish I had a higher status in the galaxy. All the other objects are so beautiful and large, the rock replied. But I'm just an ugly rock. The star considered the problem. At last it said, You don't have to worry anymore. I think I can help. The star radiated its light brighter and hotter than it had ever done before. Come a little closer, the star said to the rock. The rock drifted closer to the star. Suddenly, 
the ice that was embedded in the rock's tiny cracks melted and became steam. Then the steam extended behind the comet to form a brilliant tail. The tail shined with all the colors of the spectrum. The little rock had become a beautiful comet. It looked so amazing. It realized that the star helped it change its appearance. Thank you, the comet said and then flew away with its new beautiful tail following behind him like a galactic cape. Word list Bankrupt If someone is bankrupt, then they are unable to pay their debts. The store had few customers and soon went bankrupt. Conform To conform to rules or laws is to obey them. The new student had to conform to the school's dress code. Employ To employ someone means to give work to them. The bookstore employed two full-time clerks. Expel To expel someone means to force them to leave a place. Since he would not follow the rules, the principal had to expel the student. Extension an extension is a part added to something to give it more time or space. My parents decided to add an extension to our house for the new baby. Forthcoming If something is forthcoming, then it is about to happen in the future. Some economists predicted that the forthcoming world economy would be severe. Furnish to furnish means to put furniture in a house or room. Most homes are furnished with tables, chairs, and beds. Hygiene Hygiene is the conditions or methods needed for health and cleanliness. People who brush their teeth at least twice a day are practicing good hygiene. Hygienic If something is hygienic, then it is clean and unlikely to cause disease. My sister works very hard to keep her entire home as hygienic as possible. Landlord A landlord is a man who rents property to a person. The landlord collected everyone's rent money on the first day of every month. Lease To lease means to rent property, usually an apartment or land. When the family first leased the apartment, the rent was very low. Mandatory If something is mandatory, then it is required by law. It's mandatory that everyone be at least 16 to drive a car in the U.S. Mend To mend something means to fix it when it is broken or damaged. Mother mended the rip in my pants with a piece of cloth. Mortgage a mortgage is a loan for property, especially homes and businesses. When they bought their new home, the married couple had to sign a mortgage. Personnel Personnel are employees in a business. When business increased, we had to hire more personnel. Plumbing Plumbing is the system of pipes used in a home to supply water. When the plumbing stopped working, no one was allowed to use the toilets. Tenant A tenant is a person who rents property from a landlord. The new tenants moved into the house across the street. Trendy If something is trendy, then it is very popular and new. Carlo bought a trendy new car. Utility a utility is a business that supplies services such as water or electricity. If you don't pay the utilities, you may have your electricity turned off. Whereby Whereby means by which or through which. The mayor had a new bridge built whereby the citizens could cross the river. The Resourceful Landlord a kind landlord was afraid that he would lose his apartment building. He needed to make some mandatory repairs to the old building, or his tenants would have to leave by the end of the month. Without tenants to lease the rooms, 
the landlord would be unable to pay his mortgage. He'd be bankrupt, and the bank would take his building. But he didn't have the money whereby he could employ the personnel needed to make the repairs. It would seem like he did not want to conform to the city's codes before the forthcoming inspection. He had requested an extension, but it was denied by the city. He held a meeting with his tenants and explained the unfortunate situation. If the building does not meet the appropriate standards for safety and hygiene, he said, the city will expel everyone. The tenants were all sad for the kind old man. Maybe we can help, the hairdresser who lived on the first floor stated. The other tenants agreed. One tenant had worked for the city's utilities. He knew a lot about plumbing, so that's how he helped. Another tenant was a carpenter. He mended the holes in the floor and walls. Others cleaned the building from top to bottom so that it was more hygienic. They even furnished some of the apartments with new beds, dressers, and chairs. When they were done, all of the people dispersed, and the landlord went home to rest. When the deadline of the inspection arrived, the apartment building was hygienic and safe. The landlord couldn't believe it. His old building now looked like one of the trendiest buildings in town. The building passed its inspection, and the landlord and the tenants had a big party. Thank you all so much, the landlord said during the party. I could never have done it by myself. But by working together, we now all have a beautiful place to live. Word list. Aesthetic. If something is aesthetic, then it is concerned with a love of beauty. The dresses were noteworthy for their aesthetic design. Arrogant. If someone is arrogant, they think that they are more important than others. He is very arrogant. Even though he's not the boss, he tells everyone what to do. Bias. A bias is a person's likelihood to like one thing more than another thing. The mothers had a natural bias for their own child's picture. Canyon. A canyon is a narrow valley with steep walls through which a river often flows. The canyon was so deep that the ground inside was covered in shadow. Creek. A creek is a stream or small river. Only small fish lived in the shallow waters of the creek. Drill. A drill is a tool with a point that spins in order to make a hole. The carpenter used the drill to make several holes in the wood. Executive. An executive is the top manager of a business. After 20 years at the company, he finally became the executive. Fatigue. Fatigue is a feeling of extreme tiredness. After three days with little sleep, she was feeling a lot of fatigue. Incline. An incline is a sharp rise in something, especially a hill or mountain. This mountain has one of the steepest inclines in the world. Nasty. If something is nasty, then it is not nice or pleasant. The rotten apple left a nasty taste inside her mouth. Perceive. To perceive something means to be aware of it. He was talking loudly, so he did not perceive that the music had stopped. Primate. A primate is a type of mammal that includes monkeys, apes, and humans. Primates use their hands for such tasks as swinging from branches. Primitive. If something is primitive, then it is simple, basic, and not very developed. The computers of the 1980s are primitive compared to those of today's. Stereotype. A stereotype is a general but often incorrect idea about a person or thing. There's a stereotype that pigs are dirty animals, but they are rather clean. Sticky. If something is sticky, then it is covered with a substance that things stick to. Place the sticky part of the tape against the paper so it will cling to the wall. Termite. 
A termite is an insect that lives in groups and feeds on wood. The wood we found was full of termites. Thereby. If something happens thereby an action, then it is the result of that action. He didn't score a goal, thereby ending his chance at setting a record. Trail. A trail is a path through a wild area. A narrow trail cut through the field and over the hills. Twig. A twig is a short and thin branch from a tree or bush. They started the fire with a handful of dry twigs. Welfare. Welfare is the health and happiness of a person or group. Having plenty of clean water is necessary for the welfare of people. The Man and the Monkey. While flying over a jungle, a wealthy executive's private plane crashed. Some of the crew were hurt, so the pilot decided to stay with them and wait for help. The arrogant executive, though, didn't care about the welfare of the pilot and crew. Rather, he thought he could walk out of the jungle and find a town to stay in. He followed a trail through a canyon and along a creek. The jungle was actually very stunning. If the arrogant executive had stopped to look around, he might have perceived the jungle's beauty. But he was in a nasty mood and had no care for the aesthetic value of the jungle. He continued to walk up the steep incline of the jungle's hills. Soon he was lost. Several days passed and fatigue and hunger weakened him. He was very tired and afraid. Just then, a monkey came out of the trees. It was carrying a twig covered in honey. It walked up to a mound where termites lived. He then used the twig like a drill to make a hole in the mound. Then, very carefully, it removed the twig from the hole. The sticky twig was covered with termites. Instead of eating the bugs, the monkey offered them to the executive, but he didn't want what the monkey offered. He shouted at the monkey. Get away from me, you stupid primate! The executive's stereotype of the monkey was wrong. The monkey was not stupid. It knew how to find food, whereas the executive did not. He refused the help of the monkey, thereby leaving himself to starve. When the executive was finally found, he was very skinny and sick. He had not eaten for a very long time. Because he held a bias against the primitive ways of the monkey, he had gone hungry and almost died. The executive didn't understand that it was his arrogant attitude that had caused all of his problems. Behalf. If something is done on one's behalf, it is done for that person by another. The original speaker was sick, so his son gave the speech on his behalf. Flap. To flap means to move quickly up and down or from side to side. The tiny bird flapped its wings and ate from the flowers. Glacier. A glacier is a large piece of ice that moves very slowly. The North Pole is covered by a huge glacier. Globe. The globe refers to the Earth. Water covers most of the globe. Horizontal. When something is horizontal, it is flat and level with the ground. The Russian flag has three horizontal stripes of white, blue, and red. Hum. To hum means to make a low, continuous noise. The man hummed his favorite song. Inventory. An inventory is a supply of something. Gwen was checking the inventory to make sure we had what we needed. Inward. If a thought or feeling is inward, it is not expressed or shown to others. She had an inward feeling of guilt when she lied to her mother. Loaf. A loaf of bread is bread shaped and baked in one piece. Could you please buy a loaf of bread for sandwiches? Oracle. An oracle is a person who speaks with gods and gives advice about the future. The king went to the oracle to ask if going to war was a good idea. Orbit. 
To orbit something means to move around it in a continuous curving path. The moon orbits the Earth. Overview An overview is a general description of a situation. My brother gave me an overview of the important parts of the book. Preview A preview is an opportunity to see something before it is available to the public. The band played us a preview of their new song. Previous If something is previous, then it happened earlier in time or order. He turned back to the previous page to read the paragraph again. Provide To provide something means to supply it. Each student was provided with a test and three sharp pencils. Recur To recur means to happen more than once. Burglaries seem to recur over and over in our neighborhood. Relevant When something is relevant, it is important to a certain person or situation. The 30-year-old book about politics is still relevant to our society today. Right. A rite is a traditional ceremony carried out by a particular group or society. Special masks are worn during the rite when a new baby is born. Stall. To stall means to stop a process and continue it at a later time. If you give the car a push, it won't stall. Supernatural. If something is supernatural, it is not real or explainable by natural law. The dragon had supernatural powers such as flying and breathing fire. Cosmo's Flight When Cosmo woke up, he was crying. He had a dream that he was falling. This dream had recurred for the previous five nights. Cosmo was scared that his dreams were a preview of what was going to happen on his flight the next day. Cosmo was a supernatural being who was about to turn 15 years old. In his culture, boys of his age were required to participate in an important rite. They were given wings and instructed to orbit the Earth. After successful flights, the boys officially became men. Cosmo certainly wanted to be a man, but he was scared. He went to an oracle of a god named Dano. Cosmo said, I'm not sure I can make such a long trip. What if I get tired? What if my strength stalls and I can't stay in the air? I'll crash and die. Dano replied, Don't be afraid. You have all the relevant skills in your personal inventory that have been building up over the years. To ease your worry, let me tell you a little about what will happen tomorrow. You'll begin over Africa. You'll keep flying north until you come to the Himalayas. The mountaintops will look like small loaves of bread at such a high distance. The rivers of the world will look like pieces of blue string that cross the globe. Keep your body horizontal when flying against the winds of the Pacific Ocean. Keep your eyes open and enjoy the beauty of the Earth. You will be fine. You'll see. Cosmo replied, Thanks for the overview of my journey. I'll do my best. The next morning, Cosmo was provided with a divine set of wings and sent on his way. He flapped his wings and went high above the earth. He flew over mountains, oceans, and glaciers. After a while, his inward thoughts were no longer about falling. He was actually having fun. He began to hum a song as he enjoyed the view. When he reached home, his tribe was there to greet him. The chief said, On behalf of the tribe, I declare you a man. We're proud of you, Cosmo. Cosmo was proud of himself, too. Adapt To adapt means to change in order to deal with a new situation or addition. When he went to the new town, he had to adapt to all the weather changes. Biological Biological describes the process of life and living things. In science, we learned about the biological process of bacterial growth. Cellular When something is cellular, it relates to the cells of animals or plants. 
She used a microscope to see the activity at a cellular level. Dynamic. When people are dynamic, they are lively and have creative ideas. The new dynamic employee came up with a good way to juggle his workload. Fantasy. A fantasy is a pleasant situation that people think about but is unlikely to happen. Becoming an astronaut is a fantasy shared by many children. Heredity. Heredity is the process of passing on features from parents to children. The boy's face is similar to his father's because of heredity. Internal. When something is internal, it exists or happens inside a person, object, or place. We remove the outer case to reveal the computer's internal wires. Minimal. When something is minimal, it is very small. My lazy husband does a minimal amount of work around the house. Pioneer. A pioneer is a person who is the first to discover or be involved in something. He was a pioneer of computer programming. Prescribe. To prescribe medicine means to tell someone to take it. When I was sick, the doctor prescribed me flu medicine. Respective. When things are respective, they relate separately to each person just mentioned. The boxers were told to return to their respective corners. Revive. To revive someone or something means to restore health or life to them. She revived the feeling of warmth in her leg by rubbing it softly. Rigid. When rules or systems are rigid, they are severe because they cannot be changed. Societies often have rigid rules about the way that people are supposed to act. Sequence. A sequence is a number of events or things that come one after another. The dominoes fell in a sequence of one after another. Substitute. To substitute something or someone means to have them take the place of another. When I ran out of juice, I had to substitute water to drink in the morning. Surgeon. A surgeon is a doctor who is trained to do surgery. The surgeon operated on the old man's heart. Therapy. Therapy is treatment for a particular physical or mental illness or condition. After she broke her legs, she used physical therapy to learn how to walk again. Transfer. To transfer something means to move it from one place to another. The family transferred the groceries from the shopping cart to the car. Transition. A transition is a process where there is a change from one form to another. The weather gets colder during the transition from summer to autumn. Transplant. A transplant is an operation in which a damaged part of one's body is replaced. The sick child needed a heart transplant to live. The first organ transplant. In 1954, a man named Richard was dying of kidney disease. He wouldn't survive for long unless he got a new kidney right away. Richard's twin brother, Robert, was willing to donate one of his kidneys to his dying brother. At the time, however, no doctor had ever performed a successful internal organ transplant. The idea of taking an organ out of one person and putting it into another was just a fantasy. But the brothers decided to be brave and found a doctor who could make organ transplants a reality. Since Richard and Robert were twins, their heredity was identical. They had the exact same biological traits. Even their kidneys were identical on the cellular level. Therefore, Robert's working kidney could be substituted for Richard's bad one. Richard's body could adapt to the new organ if the operation was done correctly. The twins went to Dr. Murray, who was a pioneer of new surgical methods. His dynamic team of surgeons performed the transplant. Dr. Murray made sure his surgeons followed a rigid sequence of directions so that no mistakes were made. First, they made a minimal cut in Richard's side and removed the bad kidney. 
Then they made another small cut in Robert's side, removed his kidney, and transferred it into Richard's body. Finally, they sewed up the respective cuts. The entire operation only took about one hour. After the surgery, it was clear that both brothers were going to be okay. The operation was confirmed a success. Richard's new kidney worked great. Doctors prescribed medicine for the pain caused by the surgery. Since Richard was still weak, he used physical therapy to revive his strength. At last, Richard's transition into a healthy, happy person was complete. Dr. Murray became a hero in the medical world. His success gave other doctors confidence to try organ transplants themselves. Now doctors perform life-saving transplants and surgeries every day. Word list Aquarium An aquarium is a building where fish and underwater animals are kept. We took a trip to the aquarium and saw a scary shark. Arbitrary If something is arbitrary, it is not based on any plan or system, so it seems random. The classroom had many arbitrary rules that made me confused. Autobiography An autobiography is a true story of a person's life written by that person. I read an autobiography about my favorite entertainer. Convention A convention is behavior that is considered to be common or polite. In the U.S., a popular convention is to shake hands when you meet someone. Gracious If someone is gracious, then they are kind and helpful to those who need it. The operator was gracious enough to help me find his number. Improve To improve something means to make it better. He studied hard to improve his test scores from the previous year. Insulate To insulate something means to protect it from heat, cold, or noise. People can conserve energy by insulating their houses. Intrigue To intrigue means to cause an interest in something or someone. Her mysterious past intrigued her new friend. Longevity Longevity is the ability to live for a long time. Sea turtles have an amazing longevity. Misplace To misplace something means to lose it. I misplaced my wallet, and I didn't find it until a week later. Naughty When children are naughty, they behave badly or do not do what they are told. The boy had to go to his room because he was being naughty. Norm A norm is a way of behaving that is considered normal in a particular society. Wearing a heavy coat all summer is not considered a norm in the desert. Orangutan An orangutan is a large ape with red and brown hair and long arms. Orangutans use their long arms to swing from trees. Overload To overload something means to put more things into it than it is meant to hold. If you overload the truck, it might crash. Philanthropy Philanthropy is the act of helping others without wanting anything in return. The wealthy business owner is well known for his acts of philanthropy. Probe To probe into something means to ask questions to discover facts about it. The bank probed into his financial history to see if he qualified for a loan. Recipient A recipient of something is the person who receives it. I was the recipient of four phone calls today. Reptile A reptile is a cold-blooded animal that lays eggs and has skin covered with scales. Lizards are my favorite type of reptile. Thrive To thrive means to do well and be successful, healthy, or strong. He may be an old man, but he continues to thrive. Ultimate When something is ultimate, it is the final result or aim of a long series of events. By trying hard in school, I will reach my ultimate goal of becoming a doctor. The Lottery 
Joe was watching television when he heard a knock at the door. He thought, who could that be? It's probably one of the naughty neighborhood children. Joe stood up and walked to the door. When he opened it, he saw a beautiful woman. She said, good morning, Joe. I have great news. You're the recipient of this check for one million dollars. You won the lottery. Joe couldn't believe it. His mind was overloaded with emotions. Joe said, thank you, thank you. After he calmed down, Joe made a photocopy of the check in case he misplaced the original one. He sat and thought about what he wanted to do with the money. He didn't want to spend it in an arbitrary way. Joe thought, I know there are others who need this money more than I do. I've always loved animals, so I think I'll buy things for the zoo. Joe knew that the zoo was in bad shape. The cages were too small, and they weren't insulated from the cold. Animals couldn't thrive in such conditions. He took out some stationery and wrote a letter to the zoo. He offered to help the zoo buy huge cages for the large mammals and reptiles. He offered to buy healthy food for the orangutans to increase their longevity. He even said that he would buy new glass walls for the aquarium because the old ones were cracked. Joe's act of philanthropy intrigued the zookeeper. He probed Joe to learn why he spent his money to improve the zoo. It wasn't a social convention for a person to be so gracious. Joe told the zookeeper, I know it's not the norm, but my ultimate decision to help these animals is better than anything I could have done for myself. If I ever write an autobiography, I will write that this was the happiest day of my life. Antique If something is antique, it is very old and rare and therefore valuable. My grandmother's antique rocking chair is worth a lot of money. Applicant An applicant is someone who writes a request to be considered for a job or prize. Lots of applicants came into the store when the job position became available. Artifact An artifact is an old object made by humans that is historically interesting. We studied artifacts from an ancient Chinese settlement. Authentic When something is authentic, it is not false or a copy of the original. We ate authentic Italian food on our vacation to Rome. Chronology The chronology of a series of past events is when they happened. We learned the chronology of World War II in history class. Diplomat A diplomat is a representative of a country who works with another country. The Spanish diplomat discussed trade issues with officials in Peru. Epic An epic is a long book, poem, or movie about a period of time or a great event. The poet wrote an epic about the great discoveries of the past thousand years. Excerpt An excerpt is a short piece of writing or music taken from a larger piece. I didn't listen to the entire symphony online, but I did play an excerpt. Fossil A fossil is the hard remains of a prehistoric animal or plant. The expert arranged the fossils to build the skeleton of the dinosaur. Humiliate To humiliate someone means to make them feel ashamed and embarrassed. I was humiliated when I tripped and fell down in front of the whole school. Lyric When a poem is considered lyric, it is written in a simple and direct style. I enjoy reading and creating my own lyric poetry. Majesty Majesty is supreme greatness or authority. You should address the king and queen as your majesty. Monarch The monarch of a country is the king, queen, emperor, or empress. The monarch lived in a beautiful palace with a grand gate. Proceed To proceed something means to come before it. The hurricane was preceded by a moment of still wind and clear sky. Punctual When someone is punctual, they do something or arrive at the right time. 
My mother hates being late. She is the most punctual person I know. Recruit. To recruit people means to select them to join or work for an organization. We successfully recruited someone to be the new manager. Refund. A refund is money given back to a person when an item is returned to a store. I asked for a refund because the shoes I bought were too tight. Register. A register is an official list or record of people or things. At a wedding, there is a register for all of the guests to sign. Renown. Renown is the quality of being well known due to having done good things. Michael is a singer of great renown in New Zealand. Tusk. A tusk is a long, curved, pointed tooth of an elephant, boar, or walrus. Sadly, some people hunt elephants and remove their tusks to sell them. Jen's new job. The History Museum needed to recruit a new tour guide. The director interviewed dozens of applicants before he decided to hire Jen. She was chosen because she was friendly, punctual, and had a great attitude. On her first day, Jen got to work and prepared to give her first tour. She looked at the names on the register. She saw that the Queen of England and a diplomat were visiting the museum. She thought, It's my very first day and I have to impress a monarch. I hope I don't humiliate myself in front of a person of such renown. Jen was nervous. She took a deep breath and said, Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk to you about the chronology of ancient Egypt. As she turned around to show the group some artifacts, she bumped into a fossil of an authentic elephant tusk. It fell to the ground and broke into a million pieces. Oh no, said Jen in a subtle voice. I sure hope the rest of the tour goes better than this. The rest of the tour did not go any better. She tripped over an antique vase and broke a piece off of it. As she was reading an excerpt from a lyric poem, she sneezed and tore a page of the epic. After the tour, Jen approached the queen to apologize. She said, I'm sorry, your majesty. I was a terrible tour guide. Let me give you a refund for the money you spent. The queen laughed. She said, I don't want my money back, Jen. I love the tour. You just have to be a little more careful and work hard to become the best at your job. Hard work precedes success. Jen smiled and thanked the queen. She decided to be extra careful from then on. She was persistent and worked hard. In time, Jen became the best tour guide at the museum. Word list Burden A burden is a serious or difficult responsibility. Children who do not behave are a burden to their parents. Compromise To compromise is to agree to something that is not exactly what you want. We both compromised about the game we decided to play. Craft To craft something is to make it using skill. She crafted the bookcase out of solid pine wood and then painted it. Crook A crook is someone who is not honest or who commits crimes. The manager was arrested by the police for being a crook. Currency Currency is the form of money used in a certain place. Elizabeth had to exchange her dollars for a foreign currency. Enigma An enigma is someone or something that is mysterious or hard to understand. The theft of the paintings is an enigma to the investigators. Fragile When people or things are fragile, they are not strong and can be damaged easily. The fragile glassware was carefully packed into boxes. Hybrid A hybrid is a mixture of different things or styles. In Greek mythology, a centaur is a hybrid of a man and a horse. Innocence Innocence is a lack of experience of difficult or complex things in life. Everyone who met her found her innocence to be charming. Merge To merge two things is to combine them into one whole thing. The storm clouds merged into one large menacing cloud that filled the sky. 
Moderate. When something is moderate, it is not too big or too small in size or amount. It takes a moderate amount of patience to be around small children all day. Overwhelm. To overwhelm is to exist in such a large amount that someone cannot deal with it. The amount of homework her teacher assigned has overwhelmed her. Perception. A perception of a situation is a way of thinking about it or understanding it. Since he couldn't see, his perception of life was much different than mine. Reunion. A reunion is the meeting of people or things that have been separated. Every summer, we have a family reunion at the lake. Rig. To rig something means to dishonestly arrange it. The bad politician rigged the election so that he would win. Shiver. A shiver is a shaking movement the body makes when someone is cold or scared. I got shivers on my way home because it was so cold. Sociable. When someone is sociable, they are friendly. Many of my good friends are sociable, but I am shy. Talkative. When someone is talkative, they talk a lot. My aunt is very talkative whenever she is on the phone. Tow. To tow something is to pull it. The truck was towing a trailer behind it. Tramp. To tramp is to put your feet down in a loud, heavy way as you walk. The baby tramped across the floor as he was learning to walk. The Demon's Bridge. A young woman's cow had crossed the river in the morning when the water level was moderate. But when the woman returned with her dog to get the cow, she was overwhelmed by how high the water had risen. Even if she crossed, she still couldn't tow her cow back through the river. What am I going to do? she wondered. Suddenly, a man appeared across the river. A fragile young lady like you shouldn't have to struggle across a river, he said. I'll build you a bridge. The man was an enigma. The young woman's perception of him was that he was a sociable person. He was talkative, yet something was strange about him. I don't want to be a burden to you, sir, the woman replied. Don't worry, he told her as he began crafting a bridge. He merged the pieces of the bridge together with amazing speed. Soon it was finished. Oh, but how can I pay you for your work? Let's compromise. I'm sure that we can find a fair solution. What do you think? The woman asked. The only currency I need is the first living thing that crosses the bridge, the man replied. She thought, this deal sounds weird. Maybe he's actually a river demon. She shivered because she realized that he had taken advantage of her innocence and rigged the deal somehow. But she had a plan of her own. She pulled a piece of bread from her pocket and threw it across the bridge. Her dog ran after it. The dog is the first living thing across the bridge, she said to the man. The man was angry. He suddenly changed into a hybrid of a human and a fish. You crook, he shouted. You tricked me. I have no use for your dog. He screamed and dove into the river. The woman tramped across the bridge to the other side and had a happy reunion with her dog and cow.